We're back with more Gen Zero. Episode 2 of this new saga. I just got all the DLC as well, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Very weird to see like a Resistance DLC and then something about a North DLC or something. So it could be pretty wild. And I think they gave us new weapons and everything, so I have no idea how to access all that. Uh, they might be in this box right here. So let's take a look. Curious. Oh, they gave you a bunch of stuff in there. Yep. <laughs> that's, uh, that's where it is. That's exactly where it is. I'm just going to post one thing about going live here. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Um... I didn't think it would be like those good quality of weapons, but yeah, I'll take it. Why not? <laughs> All right. Okay, so for the hunting rifle, I now have this guy. Can I assign this like right away? Maybe not. I've got an assault rifle. I've got two different assault rifles. No, this is like a different one. N16 or AT. Let's see. Okay, the handling's a little better. Damage is a little lower, but it's like not really that much of a difference. I think I'm going to go with like... I think I'm going to go with this one. Just because it looks a little more interesting. There's a freaking machine gun. <laughs> Okay, so what are we putting away? We're going to put this thing away. This thing away. I don't have a better shotgun out of here. Actually, what ammo does this one take? Does it say? Hmm. Okay, the hunting rifle. I need to strip. Um, let's do that. <laughs> let's do that right now. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool, I got to say. Clear slot, clear slot, right? Clear slot, clear slot, clear slot. Oh, hey. Hi. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. Coffee. Okay. Now, I should be able to put that away and grab. God, this is so crazy. All right. Throw that one in here. Let's see what else I got. Oh, they even gave me a better handgun, dude. Oh, all right. Hold on. I got to... Yeah, I got to unequip the ammo off that one. This is super cool. Okay, throw that in there. And as far as attachments go, oh my god, they give me attachments too. <sighs> I didn't think I was going to get all these attachments. Okay. Okay, we've got a rifle silencer, a handgun silencer, another rifle silencer. I'm not sure which of those I need. Um, I did put the N60, the AT WAD, the snipe rifle. Okay, so let's see. This is the extended mag for the WAD. The N60. N9 extended? Which one is that? N16 I'm not using. Um, this is the extended for the sniper rifle. A 2.7 scope's pretty cool. And then... Was that that? Oh, it is that one. Okay, I see. N16. Okay. Under the N9. Sorry, not the N16. I go back in there. This is crazy. All right. So we can do armor piercing if I wanted. I don't really have a lot. Handgun silencer. Uh, magazine extended. Sights nothing. There we go. Handgun is decked out. Okay. Weapons. Assigned to slot one. Wait. What? <laughs> How did I open up a map? Assigned to slot one. I think I hit one. I didn't like that. 
assigned a slot to attachments. All right, so we've already got ammo on here. How much of that do I have? 136? That's not too bad. I got a rifle silencer. Extended. I got a 1-4x one, one to four X scope. That's not too bad, I guess. I've got no ammo for this thing. Hmm. That may be a problem. If I don't have ammo for that. Okay, that one takes 7.62. If that one's taking 7.62, what is the other one taking? Because I'd rather take the assault rifle that takes 7.62. If that's the case. Let's take a look and see what it's got. This thing looked really cool, but like if it doesn't have it, it doesn't have it. it takes 5.56. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a rifle scope. Um, so what does this thing even fit on? This guy here, the 2.7, can be used together with the RLG-7. I don't know what an RLG-7 is. Alright, well then for sure, let's put away some of this stuff. So put away this thing, because I can't use it right now. Um, I actually do have the ammo for that thing, so we'll keep it on us. I'm just gonna actually, like, do this. And I got no sights on those, and I got no sights on this guy. For now. Alright, there we go. Sign. Slot. Assigned to slot. Oh, nice. Ooh. Got heard it. I've only got 28 rounds left for this thing. All right, well, let's see what this thing can do. Ooh, jeez. Seems kind of powerful. I can't believe I can't get, oh, uh, what do you call it on this? A silencer on that. Seems kind of weird. I think what I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna attach this. Or wait, assign to slot here. So I think I've got way more ammo for that. Well, for now I do. Where'd he go? Oh, that's so cool. Okay. Yo, that's dope. <laughs> yeah, take off. That's sick. All right, so that's totally worth it. That's sick. I think this thing will actually be pretty powerful. Anything else that I need to look at while I'm in here? Um, I'm not going to take the rocket launcher right now. Seems a little OP. Oh, I actually have ammo in here, so I wonder if I've got the one I need. Oh, it gave me ammo. Oh, that's probably the one for that gun. Oh, shit. Um, so 5.56, five, I had a little bit here. So transfer that over. Transfer that over. 7.62, I've got a lot of that. Um, I think this stuff here is actually for that new gun. Oh, shit. I had no idea. Okay. Yo, how is my weight doing? We're at 50 pounds. It's not that bad. That gave me a bunch of ammo for this guy. Beefy. Okay. And then if I were to equip this guy now, let's see. Sign a slot. Switch the ammo type out. I've got a few rounds for it. It's not the best. I've got at least two clips. K 
cat is going nuts. All right, let's see where we're headed. Okay, so I know I've got one of those guys over there. It's probably like one of those squads that wants to kill me really badly. Um, one of my missions is to go up here instead. Where can I travel to anyway? I don't think I can travel to any of those. We could try to go across that bridge, which I've never really tried to do. Wait, hold on. What is that? What am I looking at? That's a drone. Something out there. There it is. Another drone. There's something else out there. It started to detect me. I love how far away I am. It's like, uh, I can't reconcile that. <laughs> Something shooting at me and they're that far away. What am I going to do? Shit, where was that? It was like somewhere right over here, right? shot that down now. That's weird. Oh my god, my cat almost knocked over my coffee because he tried to jump up here. That would have been super bad. Yeah, I don't think I looted this car yet. I remember looking at it and being weary of coming over here. something like patrolling this area before weird it's kind of buggy I can't get into it no oh well whatever let's follow this road to the bridge and see what's at the bridge because I remember like at the beta back in the day we couldn't go across the bridge which is like obviously not a thing now but it was like a thing and uh I haven't remembered if I crossed the bridge in the full game or not. I can't remember now. What's that up there? Okay. There's at least one patrolling. big dude on the bridge okay it might be worth switching out to the other gun hmm 
Let's see what else I got here. I think I might have some EMPs on me too. I'm not sure. What I currently have equipped right now. Oh, I've got flares. And I've got an EMP battery thing. Okay. This might be okay. But I'd have to, like, they're tricky. I'd almost have to get them, like, to be right on top of it. Hmm, I might be able to hide in something like this, though, too. A rifle silencer. T-shirt, yellow. Oh yeah, I probably got a bunch of clothes. Totally forgot about that. Take a look at that too. Explosive tank? Ooh, maybe. Let me be able to whip that over there. He seems really agitated. I'm not sure what. It's, I don't think it was me. I don't think he's. <laughs> I don't think he knows I'm here yet. Interesting. What are you doing, Kitty? Sleeper hyper? Okay, where is my. Oh, wow, yeah, there's a ton of clothes. <laughs> okay. Okay, I didn't know there was this much. That's a lot. Adventurer Fedora. Midsummer wreath. Slick back hair. Oh, yeah, that's a guy. That's a haircut right there. Hold on. What else did they give me in here? Wait, what was that thing? Okay, the, the gas mask gives me 20 as usual. What else is there in here? Flower earrings. Tourist camera. <laughs> That's silly. I'm going to keep that on there. I think how old that camera is. Uh, jacket. Let's see. So it's not like there's any like pay to win because there's nothing in here that's like any resistances in the jacket. If anything, like the one I have right now, one bullet resistance is probably the best I got. Yeah, one bullet resistant shirt, fire resistant. Yeah, no pants or anything. Okay, that's pretty good then. I wasn't sure if they were going to give us a bunch of like pay to win stuff. I thought that'd be kind of silly if they did. I was like, oh, I hope not. But I can convert some of that other stuff that I just got like with crafting. I can make it like bullet resistance or whatever. Oh my god, I think I just got stuck. I think I literally just got stuck. I'm gonna have to fast travel out of here. <laughs> Whatever. I can't believe that. I guess shit happens. Okay. So that patrol, by the way, or whatever is... Like, the group that's hunting me is over here. One of the many groups that hunts me. Hmm. I don't know exactly where they are. Oh. He's over there. He could be really tricky because... The last time we had to fight when it was, like, three... I think it's just one this time. Doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna happen. God, they're so creepy, dude. They're just so creepy. I think I would do better off with the other gun here. I'm gonna try to lay into him in a second here. Let's see this. He's six.
Nope. <laughs> he got me. Damn. I tried. That was a good attempt, though. I don't have any respawn stuff. So he's able to get me in like a hit. I'm all out of adrenaline. Oh shit, he can spot me like right away. Let's see if I can get him over this way. Oh, I got him. I got achievement, not today, FNX, FNIX, what is that? That's not sustainable though, I need like so much ammo to be able to do that. Oh, and it even drops the new like assault rifle on here. Experimental helmet, huh? Okay, hold up. Where's that light coming from? <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know where that light's coming from. Is there a bench I could break down some shit? I just want to carry around like extra assault rifles, but I'd love to break it down if I can right now. I can't remember if there's one over here. Something tells me there was not, but for now I can at least throw it in here. I gotta see this helmet. Uh, profile, head, experimental, camo. Yeah, I like it. <laughs> just looks like, I don't know, just like Goonies or something ridiculous. Like what I would expect. Take me seriously. It's raining again. Hmm. I'm trying to think of where I haven't really looted here, though. Like, right beside me? It says there's a bunch of stuff. No, I looted that. Yeah, definitely looted that. I'm gonna head back to the bridge. I'm gonna try to take out another one of these guys. Sure, he's a lower level guy, but he's still going to be just as deadly. Going here. Oh, can go in here. Sweet. That's probably where I'm going to need to hide. I'm really genuinely curious what I can do damage wise with this guy. Oh, weird, he's looking over for it. See that? Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeez. The shots are strong. I'm kind of curious if I can actually do this. I think will it actually work? What's up, man? I think I got this guy in the right spot, maybe. Oh, I don't know, man. Not bad, word, word. Oh, I saw one good spark there. There's three in a row. a lot of ammo to get it with this thing. It's definitely doable. It's just a lot of ammo. You've been up all night. Why you been up all night? Whoa. What the heck? Just couldn't sleep? Alright. Damn, man. There's like a wreckage out there. Like, I think it's a robot. What is that? Is that thunder? Oh, yeah, it's echoing super strangely. I hear another one up there, dude. I guess I could have probably shot it. If it was near this thing, it would have blown up really well. What is that noise? I don't want to go. I don't want to die. Oh shit, is it behind me? Or is it that? I think it might be that. I don't know, it's not showing me that it's alive. I don't know what that is. I don't know where that's coming from. I'm not sure, man. That's freaky as hell, though. This is the only game that has ever made, like, these type of robots. <laughs> I guess, like, human-made robots like this. Entirely freaky as hell. Like, Horizon Zero Dawn almost does, but then it, that's, like, next level. That's, like, what happens if they, like, evolve themselves over time and stuff. It's a little different. That's freaky. It's like a survival horror. Feels like one. find like good ammo dump somewhere especially on this difficulty it's so ridiculous Bit of ammo there denim pants purple Come on, you gotta get better than 12 gauge stuff, right? Submachine gun silencer? Ugh, I guess. How's my inventory doing? 57 out of 80? It's not bad.
something ran through here. Killed everything. See, I think that might have been what it was irritated with, was these things over here. The robot on the bridge. I think he was killing these guys. Trying to look at where I haven't been. So I haven't been to these places here. Yeah, there's like a bunch of different homes here. Oh god, there's so much to go through over there. I don't think you ever got this game, Eglin. I don't think you picked it up back in the day, right? I'm gonna say, if you want to, you are welcome to join. It's just a terrifying experience. They're playing it on like the brutal difficulty or whatever. I can't remember if it's called brutal or what, but it's a weapon and a mission here. I hear some singing off in the distance. I don't know about that. This note on the fridge. Military is escorting everyone to the bunker. Emergency procedure stuff. No questions asked. What the hell's going on in Sweden this week? Sucks you're back home now of all times. If you find this without me, go to our cairn at the end of the path of the gods. Remember my horrible failure. That was my first proposal to you. Go there. Shit. I might need my gas mask in here. Search the house for more info about the Cairn. Okay. Um, profile. Oh, no. It's eyewear. It's such a weird spot. Eyewear. Gas mask. I'm gonna read that in the middle of all this smoke. I'm just gonna keep going. Try to find that gun. Okay, here's some stuff. I got some ammo. Cool. Here we go. Wait, that actually wouldn't be the gun. It's a piece of crap, though. It would actually be loose. Some health, nice. I could have swore a gun would be in this room, if anything. Yeah, if it's a gun, like a weapon as an objective, that weapon needs to be just loose in the world somewhere. Could be outside, doesn't necessarily be in this house. Just gonna do one more scan through here before I head back outside and find it. If I can. Oh, never mind, there it is. It was like kind of invisible. It had fallen through the floor a little bit. It's just a pistol of some kind. Okay. Um, profile. Yo, get my classic glasses on. Let's see what gun it is in a sec. I'm not really too keen on it, though. It's probably going to be something meh. Baseball bat, jeez. All right, let's take a look. Yeah, it was just a normal Muller PP or whatever. Not very good. OK, 
give us that over there. Let's see. There's the relay beacon. Yeah, there's definitely guys guarding it. And we got some dead bots over here. I might be able to snipe out the relay beacon from over there, maybe. They might have been smart enough to not give me that angle. So I can't see it. But we'll see. Can I close this? I want to close this. <laughs> like, not that like one's gonna like stalk me in here, but if I put one of them passes by and I'm just running around. Safe house unlocked. Nice. Craft, I can recycle some shit. Dope. Okay. Let's get rid of this. Recycle that. Recycle that. Um, am I not using the N16 thing? I should be. That's weird. Uh, okay, I've got lots of rifle silencers. Some machine gun silencer I don't need. Wait, actually, let me check something. Maybe that's why I don't have one on this one. Attachments. Nope, no muzzle. I can do the rifle scope from the other one. I guess not. I hear movement like to my left and it's like freaking me out. This low light vision amplifier, I can't use for some reason on that new sniper rifle, but at the same time, I don't really want to because they're kind of crap. Compressed air tank, huh? Store all resources. There we go. It's freaking me out what I'm hearing over there. <laughs> like, just keep hearing stomping and stuff. All right, so this one for sure, we're done with that. We're done with this. That's the low level version of that. Um, we don't need any of these rocket launcher stuff anymore because we got the new one. It's way better. Okay, so let's go and break down this. That, and that, and that, and that. All right, how am I doing for my healing items then? Let's see. Standard first aid's not bad. I've got a few advanced. I've got the simple ones still, but these are starting to get like pretty damn low. Okay, ammo wise. Man, I'm not using 44, so I don't need that. I'm not using these. Let's throw those over here. I'm not using any submachine gun. Uh, 5.56 five, is actually what's in this gun, which is kind of weird. 7.62 is what's in the. Which one is that in? 7.62 is in the. Another gun? What is in this rifle? Okay, 762 is in this. What is in this gun? 762 as well. Oh, see, I can't stand that. That's 762. I think what I should probably do is instead of relying on this, I should store this weapon and I should pull this one over with the ammo that is new in here because I'm going to run through too much 762 using it for both guns. It's not good. I also don't need any of this stuff anymore. I'll take this stuff. Alright, got a few 7.62 rounds here. Nice. It's looking way better. Oh, I gotta, like, break this shit down, too. Break all this down. Clean this all up. We're getting this all sorted. That's what's happening right now. Okay, so attachments, this thing. Yeah, it takes this this stuff. Okay, that's cool. No sights on it, though. But I can assign this in that place for now. 
We'll try it out. Uh, it's all right. I wish I had a scope or something on it. For some reason, this thing won't go on it. I don't know why that is. Recycle this item. Recycle this item. Recycle this item. Cool, cool, cool. All right. It's looking dope. Yeah, nothing, uh... Nothing new schematic-wise that I got, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, see, I can hear that shit from over here. Oh, the glass is like, it makes it impossible to focus through. Okay, let's find a way up to that tower. I might be able to snipe out that relay station. It'd be kind of neat. Collectible. Mm, there is a lot of stuff around here. Ooh, there's another rifle scope. I wonder if it's any good. Yeah, fit body. Another rifle. Another bat. I'll go break that shit down. Oh, shit. It looks like he got shot while he's up here. Okay, so that was the way I came from. The way that I needed to face was this way. Oh, what the hell, dude. Yeah, hold up. Hold up. One, two, three, four. And that relay beacon over there. Five. There's a fifth one, but it's a little smaller one. I mean, God damn, there's a chance I can get that relay beacon. <laughs> there's a real chance. Uh, oh, that scope sucks, though, too. Like, how, how good would that shot be? Oh, man. It's a really shitty shot. Should I do it? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <sighs> that dog's, like, right in front of it. It's like they can sort of tell. Like, hey, a shot happened over there. <laughs> that's such a that's such a bad idea. I really need a team to take on that. And they keep walking in front of it like they're like aggro. Yeah, that's a bad idea. It'd be a waste of well, waste of ammo. I got a thousand rounds. But <laughs> Yo, Greg, what's up, man? Know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, bro. Oh, dude. I don't know, man. That's that's too much. Those are both... Oh, they're both squads that want me dead. Oh, man. I need help with that for sure. To be able to take that on. That's just too much. Both those squads are like elite squads that are all jacked up. Yeah, one of them is that giant. And another giant over there. Hmm. Which I might be able to do... Maybe some damage from up here? I don't know. Maybe I can. They're actually pretty close. I didn't, think, I didn't realize they were that close. I wonder if I can. I wasn't really looking for them. They're like over here. I don't know. Oh, they're going off. Man, if I can get them. I don't think I can get them. Well, one of them is like right there. I can't see what I'm shooting at. Oh. 
Hit him. <laughs> Time change in this game? Yeah. Yeah, very, very, very slowly. Um, but it's uh, the time of the year it is. It's longer days. Or, sorry, longer nights, shorter days. Real Sweden. Oh, I got some blue sparks on it, bro. I don't know if he's actually able to get me from here or not. Oh, look at them all coming at me now. He'll shoot me for sure up here. He won't give a shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I knew it. I'm like, he'll definitely shoot up here. <laughs> Crazy, right? I have so much health now. They're all irritated and shit. Still shooting up there, so they don't know where I am yet. Which means I'm okay at the moment, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna break this down. Yeah, they'll they'll give up after a minute. <laughs> These guys might not, actually. I think these guys chase way longer. He's, like, right outside the church, though. Holy shit, right? <laughs> this new gun's kind of neat. It kind of fires like a submachine gun. Yeah, I swear, like, I can feel that vibration through the screen. It's so intense. If I can get an angle up here. Maybe it came over this way. Hey, yeah, like that guy just did. Is this naturally silenced? I think it is. out here somewhere. He's run, though. It's hard to see through the, like, stained glass. Right there. 
He's on that side. I can't quite see him though. And I'm too short to see here. I can see this part. Oh, I can't shoot through that? Damn. Explosives. I got this. These things are really hard to throw if I remember correctly. Oh wait, you can't throw them, right? Yeah, 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 yeah you can't throw them. You have to place them. That's right. These I know I can place pretty well, but they only like work if they come in here. Oh shit. Not where I wanted to throw that. Not quite where I wanted to throw that, but I guess I can't get it through there. Now they're just super irritated looking at this. Blue sparks are good. Hit the freaking door. I don't think I have enough firepower to get that guy. Not with this, anyway. Maybe. Without blowing myself up. This thing takes these rounds? Yeah. Let's try it. Oh, that's where that scope goes. Ooh, I'm pretty sure I nailed it. Mad at me right now. <laughs> Jeez. I wish I could turn off the lights in here so I could see out there better. It's really hard to hit that guy. He's that far away. Sometimes it's just the rockets are going right past him. Okay, I need to get those guys over here so I can see them a bit better. Yes. He's kind of mad at me. Shit. 
trying to get this guy. When I hit him. <laughs> I don't have any rockets that's gonna take take him down. I've never used this rocket before either. They're good. They're not it's not great. It's not like the highest it could be. Or even close to it. It's still just a blue. Oh, I think that was a good shot. Well, the worst part about this is there's two of those guys out there. Like, big guys like that. I don't have enough rockets for all of them. I've got shittier rockets, too. If I need them. Come on, flares. Chandeliers in here just going nuts too. Damn, man. These are huge squads though. They've been like storing up their pent up rage for quite a while. Oh shit. Damn it. Yeah, like. They've been around for a while, for sure. Let's see if I can do this, get him to go that way. For like a second. Susie stepped in front of that door. Damn. I need to shoot like the main body part like that. I can't believe how much this guy could take, but I guess I can. Cause like he is like a special one. Even though he's a low level, he's a special one still. He's super close, man. He's finally almost done. God damn. <sighs> so close. If I had some explosives, I think I used up my grenades. Let me see if I didn't. I'm curious. Oh, I do the... No, those are emergency flare stickies. Yeah, everything else would require me to, like, lay a trap. Shotgun might be a better option, actually, right now. Yeah, let me attach... The, let me sign that here. 
Change the attachments on it. I got some slugs. If I can hit him with a slug, I might have a chance. turn around so I can hit that thing. Oh, damn it. Why does it throw like that? Not one throw goes the right way. I don't have enough rounds of this thing. It's chewing through everything I got to get through this guy. Okay, let's try that again. He might hit that. Damn, yeah, he's almost dead too. If I had just enough ammo to make it. Um They only gave me the recycling station. And that station, right, to craft. I don't think there's another station in here, was there? Like an ammo crafting one, right? No. Damn. I wonder if... Broken is he, you know? It's pretty broken. I'm trying to get that, like, I think he's already messed up enough in there anyway. Like, the joints on his legs are pretty messed up. like eye or whatever seems to be taking some damage there we go so I'm pretty sure they are super toxic at the end of this like you can't go too close to it loot it yeah I will He's got usually, see how it's like the air's all kind of wavy and shit? I don't know if you can see it. It's like slight. You just gotta be careful. Some of them are really, really bad. Like nuclear. Okay, I can get close to him. Okay, I got explosive rounds, but those explosive rounds are not very good. <laughs> these are like crappy rounds. Yeah, these are like for the other rocket launcher type that I don't think I have anymore. To be fair, they only gave me like a garbage one, so. Okay, full metal jacket rounds I don't need. 270 soft point, 243 soft point. 9 millimeter submachine gun I don't need. Huh. Yeah. They gave me this hunting rifle, but it's kind of crap. <laughs> Damn. 
I was really hoping with the crafting in this, they would have been able to, like... I don't know. I don't know what exactly I was hoping for, but I think I was hoping for something more like you could upgrade the quality of your guns, even if it was, like, really difficult to do. That's what I was kind of looting or rooting for, I'd say. So that one was probably harder than a normal orange colored beast like that. There's another orange one over there, but he's not part of that, um, like, nemesis system. At least not yet, he's not. He might be in the future. I see there's another one way out there. You can hear them, like, their, their mechanics, like, operating, right? Like, RoboCop sounds way before you even get to them. It's crazy, right? It's such a tough game. But I like that. I really need to get more ammo for this thing, though. I don't have a lot. Did I pick up any other ammo type? Nope. I've only got a clip and a half for this gun. It is really nice that it's, like... Naturally silenced. I like this new gun. Yeah. So now you've pretty much seen all the enemy types that I've seen. Is it online? Yeah. Uh, Co-op. Yeah. I think Trend and Zerudo are popping in at some point today. And it basically goes by, like, host progress. So, like, um, you know, if I jump in their game, I'm going to be wherever they are in the story. Where the heck is it? They just want me to investigate this. And then if they jump in mine, they'll be there. Oh, nice. Supplies. This game gets much easier, though. Uh, not much easier, but, like, you feel, like, on par more with the world. Pretty soon. Like, t level 20, you're pretty OP. But before that, like, I'm, like, level 9 right now. Uh, I'd say, like, maybe, like, around, like, 10 or... Uh, maybe not 10. Maybe, like, 12. You start to feel pretty good. And then once you start getting purple quality weapons, it gets much better. Because it does, even though it's a survival game in many ways, it has, like, that looter part of it still, too, where the weapon qualities differ. Which is nice, because they're, like, not rusted or broken and shitty looking, and they shoot straighter, they have less sway to them. Like, they actually look visually better. It's pretty cool. If you look at this rifle, or... Well, no, I don't have it equipped, but I was going to say, if you look at the shotgun that I had... um. It's got like a slight bend to the to the barrel. <laughs> and you're like, ooh, is that thing you're gonna get a shoot straight? Is that thing gonna like come back and kill me? Like is it gonna round gonna get stuck in the barrel? Hmm, kind of desolate here. What is that that it's pointing me towards? I'm curious. Oh, that's that path of the gods one. Yeah, I think I might do that because I know over here is that big guy. As well as a bunch of other things around this relay beacon, which I'd love to destroy. But if I can, I can wait until uh, the other guys show up because that's easy XP for everybody in the group. Is that what it's pointing me towards? West. Yeah, it's pointing me towards that. Group of dogs over there. Shit. They're green, so they're a little bit higher. Difficulty. Shit. They most definitely saw me.
Just trying to see if I can get to the coast. Work my way from the coast of this Path of the Gods side quest here. Oh, my coffee's getting cold. I gotta drink it. <laughs> this is so intense in that combat for so long. You can barely do anything. There's a boat out there smoking. Yeah, fighting that thing took a lot of resources, and I really didn't waste that many shots. I think I wasted maybe like two or three um, rockets. What the heck? This is weird. I don't know if they're chasing me or not. Got any good? Nope. No good. Oh, damn. Well, those propane tanks are cool and all. Not that great. Yeah, when I get to that ammo station and I get the right schematics, I think, like, I can probably recycle all of these uh, .32 rounds or whatever. Because, like, I don't need any of them at all anymore. I don't think I do. Unless there's, like, a weapon later I'm forgetting that uses them. But it's usually just a pistol. Whoa, that was slick. Hold up. That's the animation? Oh, that's cool on the new gun. Woo! Oh, I could do that all day. <laughs> that's slick. I like it. This is the new pistol, the N9. I've never used it yet. But I should. It's probably pretty good. Silenced, which is nice. I'm hearing. I'm hoping that's rushing water. I don't know. Wind, maybe. I feel like I hear like mechanic grinding over there somewhere, churning of mechanics. Don't know. This is the lookout point. Oh god, I don't know what's out here. Yeah, I'm hearing something over here. There it is. Let's let him go. If I can remain incognitus. If I walk on this side of the mountain, maybe they won't see me. Take the stashed emergency supplies. Okay. There's nothing here. That seems too easy. Well, they did say it was going to be remote. I heard something. Yeah, 
yeah, I definitely hear something over here. Shit, I knew it. Okay. They're definitely here. I just leveled up, though. It's kind of neat. I gotta get this because I need the health amount next. Just lie down here for a sec. Skills. I only got the one point, right? Yeah. But yeah, I can get my health increase next. And then this one here. Oh, uh, you can get more XP for destroying a marked enemy. I think that's the ones I just destroyed. But not all enemies, right? Oh, no, marked like this. That's right. Exactly. He's down right below me somewhere. Gun's good, but man, it's easy to like lose control with it. Jesus, scared the shit out of me. How do you get up here? I'm like, I think there's one around, but goddamn, he just like sprung up here, man. These guys are getting better. I don't like this. This is crazy. They were just camping out in the open around these robots. Like, could you imagine even doing that? Like, there's no protection here whatsoever. Nothing. They were just camping around. Out in the open. That's so wild and dumb. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you have nothing else to do, but I feel like your house could be better protection at least. You could barricade your shit barricade stairs and stuff and stay on the upper level and stay out of sight. Oh, there's a whole like village over that way. Okay, so that is like my next objective, the main mission, but I feel like I should do this one. Uh, log side mission, right? Track. Yeah, there's another safe house up there. So it might be worth it for supplies. We did see that one patrol over here, too. I have no idea where he is now, but we did see them. Yeah, there he is. You know, I wonder if it's actually worth it just to, like... I have it equipped? Okay, I wasn't sure. If I can get the shot right, I may be able to get him really quickly. Oh, uh, even if you do get the shot right, it's not instant kill.
coming around this way. Trying to see if I can get him with this thing. Oh shit. Yo, this guy, this dude ain't playing here. It's a sniper rifle on him. There we go. Is that just the two of them? I think. Yeah, they got a sniper rifle on them now. Oh man. Yeah, if you go on the paths, it's definitely, like, noticeable that you're going to run into more enemies. So you can go off the path, of course. Which I've been doing a lot, but damn. It's scary. Eighteen rounds left in this thing. Hoping I can find lots of new ammo. Time goes on with that gun. It's a new ammo type to the game, though, only with the DLC that I've seen it. It's cool, though, that, like, there's DLC stuff happening, which is neat. I'm glad that they put a bunch more into it. But yeah, this is one of the best looking like outdoor games I've ever seen. Like, look how ridiculous they get that look. It's awesome. And it runs like a dream all the time, too. What's it running at right now? 160, 144, 160. Like, just ridiculously good frame rate the whole time. I'm always leery to go on the road standing upright because he gets spotted so fast. So you're wondering why I'm crouching is not an RP thing. I'm not trying to like be like, oh, I should crouch to so be careful. No, I you need to. <laughs> Otherwise, you get spotted like almost immediately. Nothing in there. Check the driver's side. Come on. I kind of remember the first time I came over here. Uh, so if we head north from here, like that's the main mission. I think there's a bunker coming up. But I vaguely remember something on this road like was really difficult to fight. Like, it's kind of blocking my view. I remember there being something like two of those giant mech things over there. But that was before the whole, like, Nemesis-style system was in place or whatever. So who knows? Nice. That is a nice little, like, safe house out there. I'm not seeing patrols right in front of me yet. I don't know where that big guy went. He's in this area somewhere. But I don't know exactly where. I can hear the footsteps already in the distance. I can hear it. I think the audio is a little better in this game since the update. And there's something like right there. Yeah, Hunter. Is that a different relay beacon or is that the same one? I think it's the same one. I 
I can hear him. But yeah, my headset updated a couple times, actually. Uh, well, like the DAC to the headset, and I think it's slightly better. Like, I've noticed a little bit more nuance playing this. Totally hear it. Like a clunk. Every so often from him. So I'm hiding down here so I don't like break the horizon line or whatever. Like I don't wanna I don't want them to see that. I don't want them to see me. Especially on this difficulty, they spot you from so far away. I'm probably going to have to clear out the safe house, though, I bet. Hmm. Propane tank on fire over there. Yeah, he's definitely off to the right somewhere. South, I guess. Compass. Okay, I've got... Some dogs over here for sure. I'm trying to think of where my nearest safe house is. It's not too bad if I gotta go back. It's not that bad. I'm like, I could put down a field beacon, but I don't think I really want to. I think I'm okay with just taking the risk. See what happens. I do like this idea of marking enemies and then getting like bonus XP for them. Hey, kitty. Sticky. Sticky land. I don't know how many of them there are though. So I'm like cautious just to shoot at that one. Like if I could spot them, I'll know. What's the other weapons I got on me? How's the ammo on this guy? Not too bad. Maybe I'll equip that right now. Because I think I'm going to run out of ammo right away, pretty much. Let's see. Yeah, much better. Actually, I do need to take a quick break. Uh, I'm going to hide down here for a minute. Yeah. Um, I'll be right... I think I hear one above me now, too, like on that path. Sure, which way he's gonna go? If 
This gun is loud too, so if I can fire it this way, at least maybe the sound won't travel over there. I thought I saw one down here. Oh, he's right there. Ah, he keeps like looking for me and then running. Good. The other guys heard the shots. He nearly got me. Whew. Die so easily on this difficulty. It's wild. Yeah, definitely got to get points into health. For sure. So I can take less damage, man. One over that way. Can't see him, these damn bushes. another one somewhere I think there might be another one at the house but I'm not sure that sounded closer but he might have ran out here to look for me oh shit yeah there he is somewhere God this is so intense Soundtrack is fantastic <laughs> I love it Try to loot these guys. I just don't know exactly where he is. Or what it is that I've got the attention of right now. It sounds... I was say, it sounds kind of like a normal... really hard to like look down the sights on these things man like it's really really hard
There's still one over here somewhere. Yeah, I just heard him. Hey, he's out back. I can flush him out. Let's see. Maybe you didn't see the flare. We'll come back and loot all this in a sec. <laughs> I'm just going to get into the safe house at least. Go. Some decent XP out of that. To 2100 out of that. <sighs> okay, so I'm getting there. I'm like almost halfway. Enter combat. From what? No way he saw me. Escape combat. <clears throat> mm hmm. See him over there. Got him. Yo, Chris, what's up, man? How's it going, dude? I think it was just a patrol. Yeah, hey, I think that's all that was. Some simple ass patrol. But yeah, now I gotta be super careful because there's sniper versions of those animals. Or animals. Those robots. The dog style robots. Because even if it's just like, oh, it's just one of those dog ones, it's like, yeah, but it could be a sniper. And it can like one shot you. Crazy. Morning, man. How are you? I had to take down like a huge freaking thing. Um, one of these huge robots in this. The biggest ones I've seen so far anyway. Uh, and it was pretty intense. <sighs> it's pretty intense. What did I just get? Okay, so I grabbed... <clears throat> handgun silencer. And a crappy scope. Okay, nothing, nothing too good. Oh well, I mean, you just have breakfast, have coffees, nice. Yeah, I'm good, man. Good, just been like working my way through this, dude. Making progress. Yeah, it's slow for sure on this difficulty, but very rewarding so far to to play this. I absolutely love it. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's like just the right combination of like like a high quality engine, complete freedom, uh, but yet like punishing enemies. To me, this is like a fantastic survival horror game. I would just mark it as a survival horror game. I wouldn't put it as any other genre. Maybe uh, like add open world survival horror, you know, in there. But yeah, like if they could do this with zombies really well, where it wasn't like you know a typical low quality, early access, you know, survival game with zombies, like. Like, uh, Daisy or H1Z1 or whatever. Like, it was, like, a single-player slash co-op high-quality experience like this. Like, this is this was a double-A release. It feels like a triple-A release. Other than, like, the UI, it feels very much like a triple-A release. 
they could do this with zombies, I would love it. That'd be so great. All right, I think we're good, man. Actually, was there any objectives on that? No. I got everything. It's kind of actually like what, um, well, there's PvP, I think, to it as well, but that day before whatever game looks like, like that, this gets me excited for something like that because I think that's kind of what I'm looking for with zombies. I don't really care that that one's third person that much. Like, that's not really that cool, I guess. I've had enough third person. I'd rather have the first person, especially when it's, like, done really well like this. It's super immersive. There's a weapon here. I don't hear anything. But that bothers me. Nice, I got another round for my rocket launcher. Am I still carrying that thing? I am. Oh shit, I didn't realize. I'll go dump it back at that other place on my way out of here. Oh, nice. I'm getting rounds for that rocket launcher, though. Yeah, I'm like carrying the rocket launcher. I had no rounds for it, but now I'm starting to get rounds. Doing okay for weight so far. Really? Nothing? That's weird. It's a handgun compensator, but it's like a, what do you call it, kind? The other handgun, like Magnum style, revolver style. I got an adrenaline shot, finally. I haven't had one in so long. That water got awfully loud getting this close to it. I'm just saying, it'd probably be that loud like all the time. <laughs> Press air tank. I don't know if I'm gonna use that, but. Why is that in the engine? Mm. I just heard the music change. It was subtle. Oh, you can actually kind of climb that? That's neat. Oh shit, there it is. What is it? What kind of rifle is it? It's a Panzer something something? Look at that thing! That's a lot of damage, dude! High-powered .50 sniper. Oh yeah, that'll take down some shit. I don't think I have anything... I've got like this. Oh, I do. I've got five rounds for it. Okay. Okay, that's cool. It's like an anti-tank sniper. I don't know if I've ever even seen that in this game. That's sick. So, maybe... <laughs> I can take out those big guys from a distance. I mean, they'll, they'll come at me wherever I am. They don't give a shit, but... I could work out really well for me. 
I wonder if I should keep that thing on me. It said it only weighed two kilograms or something, so I don't know. Let's see. I gotta go clean up some shit, though. In the inventory. Alright, let's throw this in here anyway. Store that. Uh, store the rocket launcher for now. Because I've only got like two rounds, I think, for it. Which reminds me, I need to store those too. They actually don't um, do a whole lot of damage. You need a lot of rocket launcher rounds to do a lot of damage on some of these big guys. Yeah, maybe I'll keep it. If I see a good opportunity to try it out, I'll uh, give it a shot. I'll throw all these in here for now, too. I'll break them all down when I can. Okay, I think we're good to go back to the main mission. I think that one up there, by the way, is a huge dude. Like the one that's kind of the nemesis or whatever. I think it's a giant one. I'm kind of curious where he is. Probably get to that barn over there, too. How's the land look? Yeah, so I have to go around. And he's, like, right there. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. Yeah. That's a big guy. I should try to take a shot at him. <laughs> I should just try. Let's see how this thing can do. I mean, it's the lowest quality one, but, like, let's just see what it can do. I'm really genuinely curious. I need a little bit better shot. I'm trying to think, what is the best part of? I can't like. He's got a he's got a tank on the back. For sure, that's a weak point. Harvester prototype. That's what they're called. Harvesters. This thing's probably gonna be so loud that whatever in the area is likely gonna hear it too. Activity, calm, difficulty, medium. Sure. Medium it is, huh? Let's see if I can get something. Look at this sight. This sight just sucks. I can't even hold my breath or anything yet because I don't have that perk. Oh, I hit him. For sure. <laughs> That's a pretty powerful gun, man. I wish I could hold my breath on this one. I can't, though. I don't think it's going to do enough damage. Yo, Zerudo, it's good, man. I killed a big guy, and it took, like, everything I had. Oh, this is a different enemy type. A harvester? I thought it was something entirely different. I don't know the weak points on this. I just found this BFG, though. I'm trying it out. Yeah, it ain't doing much to him. That's that. I don't know this enemy type. I've never seen it before. Um, I'll show you what it looks like, though, on this thing. It's just, like, not quite in focus yet. It's called a harvester. Just flash for, like, a second. It's kind of far away still. But, yeah, man, you're welcome to hop in if you're uh, still down to play today. I did a few missions. I'm saving a relay station. Um, 
Oh yeah, there's a weak point on the back. I was saving the relay station until I had help because it was surrounded. And then I ended up taking out a big guy anyway. But me and Trent bought all the DLC too. Wish I could, getting ready to go on a day trip. Ah oh, yeah, no worries man, it's all good. Where are you headed, man? Whoa! Okay. So that's what he can do. The DLC added a bunch of guns, including, like, uh, this one and, like, some rocket launchers and shit. It's kind of cool. The Soviet DLC added that. Going clamming near the Canadian border. Word. Yeah, the DLC seemed cool. They added a bunch of clothes, but nothing, like, pay to win in that regard, like, with clothes. You know? They don't, like, offer you any more protection or anything. Do you need to pick this up, uh, Chris? I can't remember if you said you were going to or not. He's gonna shoot. No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Bring binoculars, you'll see Delta to Suasin. What's that? He's smoking. Let's see if there's anything else on this thing that's like weak. Oh, okay. Gotcha. I got a buddy who lives like in Salt Springs. I was just talking to him the other day. Oh, shit, dude. any weak points. to hit those like things on them point of roberts is landlocked because of the closure they would have to go through canada to enter the u.s for groceries oh weird how they rely on private boat to sail across the ups that's so crazy yeah that's like 
Yeah, even the USPS can't reach it. Like, that's crazy. I think you can totally destroy those rocket launchers on his back. What's up, man? Let's try to take out this big guy right now. I don't think that's the guy. No, that's not even like my nemesis, dude. This is just a normal harvester, dude. He is really in rough shape, though. around a house here it might be a little easier yeah gotta go at some point right like it's gotta go sometime here Jesus where's my rockets I've got two if I want to pull them out of storage wouldn't do much to him. If I was just to kill him with rockets, I would bet, looking at the health he's got, I would probably take a good, oh, I don't know, 20? Maybe 18 or 16, something like that. got lots of rounds at least for this thing slow sure but here we go I think I just popped them yep his rockets are done yep I don't know what else he's got for weapons so I guess we'll find out He leaves any like radiation behind. <sighs> He's got some waves around him. Might not be that bad. Right, he gave me an assault rifle, which I have a higher quality version of already. See what he gave me. Okay, I don't need the soft point. Uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. This I don't need. This extra sidearm I don't need. I'm not going to use the Panzer whatever the hell thing again right now. I'm not going to bother. Good enough. 
I'm gonna head back over there now. <laughs> Cause, you know, I was gonna go do that. Uh, one of my nemesis guys is over there too. I don't know what it is. It's probably one of those hunters, which are freaking awful. They're a little better now that I've got like an assault rifle, but they're still tough as hell. Hmm. What's that? It's a hunter right there. I barely even see him because he's like hiding. Get this here. Ugh. The hill is on my advantage there. Run! thing though. Okay, so I think that there's a hunter over there and he's going to be stronger and he might have a squad with him too. The new gun that I got is like automatically silenced too, which is really nice. I like that. How was that noise? <laughs> hmm. Okay, that place is in pretty rough shape. Where the hell did he go? Oh, he went further that way. Wait, this looks like it's... Is it this? I guess so. It must be this. It doesn't look like it is, though. Oh, yeah. There's one scanning over there. Yeah, he's right there. A hunter. find some place indoors to get to. Won't be that bad. Uh, this looks pretty rough though. Shit. Uh, mm, I guess I could go in here. It's not the worst. Yeah, look at that hunter out there. I should get him though. Let's see if I can get him from up here. Oh, I blocked a lot of this off. I forgot to drop a lot of other shit when I was at that uh, safe house. Damn it. Where the hell did he go? 
Do you go in that garage or behind that garage? I don't know where he went. <laughs> what the heck? He just disappeared. is super weird. Okay, he's got to be on the other side of that garage or something. Yeah. Hold on, let's see if we can get him this way. Oh, shit, they went right in that window. Escape combat? I'm not really trying to. Yeah, he's like up underneath that. That's strange. But I got him anyway. Not a lot in there. Damn. For a lockpick? That's not much. Is scared? Yeah. I think he might have wedged himself. Actually, I think he might have just did that, man. But let's just pretend he was scared. I feel like they do have, like, almost an emotional response to some things that happen. Right? Because they get angry, like when you shoot at them. And then they do stuff like that, too, where they get scared. And when they get injured, too, they behave differently. Um, which you'll see, like, especially on the big ones, have, like, stages to their, you know, like, their deconstruction to them, you know? Like, it kind of looks like they're really injured and limping and they shoot less. They try to, like, avoid combat. Like, they behave differently. It's a hunting rifle, but it's low quality. Yeah, he's still traveling over this way. Kind of chasing him. Yo, G-Man, what up? How's it going, man? Hey, Jeremy. Welcome, dude. Uh, lightning flash over there. But about it. Damn. I'm like slowly trying to hunt this thing that's hunting me. It keeps moving further and further away from me. Yeah, dude, we took out, like, a huge guy today. It took, like, everything I had, basically. Like, 20 rockets. Well, I think I missed with, like, two of them, but... Yeah, it took a lot of work. And then I just took out another big guy. Not as big as the first guy. But, yeah, it was, like, uh... Still a pretty good fight. He's all the way down by the dock now, at this point. Interesting how chat doesn't clear, you can still see yesterday's. Yeah, I like it, actually. It's kind of neat. There's like, um, there's like better Twitch TV, something like that or whatever too, right on Twitch. And it'll do the same. It'll like show you, uh like persistent chat but by default twitch doesn't do it yeah 
he's a hunter. I just don't know if he's on his own or not, you know? If he's on his own, it's not a big deal, but... This is the new gun from the DLC. It's automatic and silenced. It's a little, little crazy as far as its kick goes, but... Trying to like, let's see if I can distract this dude. He's freaking out, he doesn't really know where it is. Shoots through ammo pretty quick, though, as you can see. Takes two different ammo types. It's a new ammo, too. Shit. Let's see if I can hide over here for a sec. coming. These guys are stronger than normal. If I can get him through the crack in the door. Oh, you totally can. Bro, are you blind? Heck. Oh, that sucks. Glass is bulletproof, I guess. <laughs> got him anyway. Jeez. Took a lot, but I got him. I do like that. Ah, uh, it's the last stuff I don't need. I do like that if you're using um, this gun. Like you, you know, it's, it's automatically silenced and hella silenced. Like it won't even, you know, attract anything else near you. Which is really handy. Unlike this gun, which is not silenced and I haven't been able to find a silencer for. Okay, so I got rid of like all of the, what do you call it near me? Um, the, uh, Nemesises or whatever, whatever, like beefy ass dudes. Oh, damn, Jeremy. One of these days, man. The hunt's still on. You're going to miss the chase when you get one, I'm telling you. You're going to get it and you're going to be like, yeah, that's cool, then never play it. Here, really? Weird. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, there's a dead body out here. Weird. That sucks. The dude was just probably fishing, just chilling. Didn't even know, and then bam. Still toilet paper in there, you should probably get it. I feel like that would be uh, a hot commodity pretty quick. Ubisoft Connect is down. It's It's been having a lot of issues, Jeremy, actually, you know, it's, it's kind of weird. I noticed that, like, consistently it'll say, like, a service is not available, something, something, service is not available. I'm like, what? Like, again, again, like, over and over? Go to update something, service is not available. I went to update a game, and it was, like, 
Uh, do you want to skip this update and just launch it anyway? I'm like, what? what? Why? It just said it was updating, but it crashed. I guess like the server side crashed in the middle of updating. I was like, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? Like, I guess the server is just that unstable and it can't update. I'm just seeing if there's any entrance to this bunker, but I don't think there is over here. No. Nope, no entrance to this bunker from here, at least. Um, I don't know which one it would be. Okay, I went to that. What is that one? Is that just like... Yeah, what is that? Oh, that's this one here, right, right, okay. I'm just looking around at these objects and see, like, there's a lot of identifying things there. I didn't really go to this, so I don't know what's over here. So I kind of want to check that out. Yo, Demonic Man. What's up? How you doing, man? Hmm. I'm going to go check that out. Here's something. Oh, yeah, that's right. There was something over here that I didn't find yet, right? Oh, yeah, there's something right there. It might just be drones. Chill-ass drones. I hear it. I can't see it yet. And I know there's one over there. Ooh. There it is. freak out because of the silenced weapon, right? They don't know what to do. It's funny. Where'd he go? Got him. Go, manual. What up, man? Oh, there's another one. Another something over there that is aware of my presence having gun indeed I am indeed I am yep fun yeah I got you yeah man it's been pretty intense I took out a giant thing today I took out a couple big mechs but I took out like the biggest one And then I took out another big one too. That's pretty cool. I don't know where that is exactly. He's on the other side of this thing. Say giant, yeah, giant mechs, huge mechs. Like something out of Star Wars or something you'd think. Took everything I had, but and he was also stronger than normal because he was like a uh, uh, what do you call it, like a nemesis one or whatever that was hunting me. So they give him like a buff. I don't know where this mech is. These little guys. The Purge game. I've seen one trailer for this game. Next. Oh yeah, no, it's not like the Purge at all. It's all robots. It's like a survival horror with murderous robots. Welcome back, Glenn. It's really tough, too, on this difficulty. 
Where the heck are they? He's stuck somewhere, I think. He's underneath this thing. I don't know. I'm just gonna ditch him though. It's not important. Ah, crappy gun. Yeah. Escape combat. Good. I'm gonna go back to this. Uh, can I go back to this? Yes. Like that Swedish artist got Netflix show, real Sweden, but with sci-fi. This is in Sweden too, real Sweden too, which is interesting. Went to breakfast, nice, it's nice, nice, man. Breakfast poutine. <laughs> I got, I had poutine last night. I just like filled it with veggies. It wasn't that great, but it was alright. Uh, let's do this here. Nope. Yeah, so this takes place in an alternate reality. Um, that, like, after World War II, Sweden had a lot of money because of, like, basically assisting the Nazis, which is, like, this whole, like, faux pas thing. And these guys are developers from Sweden, so I think that's why they do it, because of the, like, risque business that that is to talk about. Um, so that's part of it. And basically what they do is they make this huge defense system for the next potential war where it's entirely, like, robots. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool. Ooh, assault rifle silencer, and it's green. Nice, finally. Does that mean I can do it to this thing? Hell yeah. Finally. Nice, I got a silencer on that bad boy. Hey, Mnemonic Man, thanks for the sub. I appreciate it. I don't have alerts yet. I still gotta, like, redo all my, like, exploit, but I appreciate it, man. Thank you very much, dude. God damn. A new sub. Welcome. But yeah, it's a pretty cool game. It's a co-op game. That's the nice part about it. Like four-player co-op, which is kind of cool. You can remove that waypoint. We're going to go do the main mission now. Uh, which I think gets a pretty weird out here. Is it this one? Which one is that? Where the sun sets. That one. Main mission. Is this a, D this is a DLC one? That's what that is. That's a DLC mission, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's a DLC I just downloaded. You're probably uh, the handful not playing mobile games here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, Trovo is still pretty small and definitely esports oriented. Given that, like, 10 cents backing it, like, it totally makes sense. Um, which, like, I'm not, like, I don't really have a problem with it at all. Like, just because I don't play those games all the time doesn't mean I have a problem with those games. But, yeah, like, I get it. It's tough to find that stuff when you're, like, not looking for it. Or when you're looking for something not esports oriented. On almost any site today. It's weird. Like, Twitch probably has the most variety support, I'd say. YouTube's second. And Facebook, probably the hardest. There's, like, a something right there. To me, Facebook seems almost impossible. Like, even if you hide uh, Call of Duty and like Fortnite and stuff, it still shows it to you, even if you don't want to see it. Damn, the person just got killed in this bike. All right. Um, I was, was I there? Yes. And then the beacon is that way, which was surrounded by enemies. All right, Greg, take it easy, man. Have a good day, dude. Can't wait. Yeah. That's awesome, man. So this beacon was surrounded by a whole bunch of hunters. And if it still is, then there's likely no way that I'm going to be able to do it. Not with the ammo I've got. Actually, why do I have no ammo in this gun? Oh, I must have put it away. Shit. Oh, well. It's all right. It's the pistol. I'm not really. No, wait. I was just shooting things. What ammo does this thing take? Attachments. No, not this one. Oh, that's weird. Okay, I was about to say, I'm like, I didn't think I'd put that away. 
That's strange. And then this one takes five, five, six. Hmm. And that's still only like 20 rounds left in this guy. Where's that relay beacon? It's out in the field. I could always shoot it without getting close to it. I couldn't shoot it from that church tower. I tried and then ended up fighting a ton of shit. But let's see. I'm crouching because I might get spotted. I think I see something like right there. What the? No, I accidentally flicked this before I could zoom in. Yeah. Okay, so the dogs thingies for now, the runner type. That's not that bad if they're just runners. Oh, there's a hunter right there. Difficulty hard. Three runners and a hunter. Yeah, that's too much. If I lure him to that church, I could probably get it. Let me fast travel over to that church. I could just, like, boom. Are you able to push as much as the other platforms on Trovo? Yeah, yeah, you can push more on Trovo. You can push up to 10,000 meg. I don't have 10,000 up, but no, I still do 1080p. Yeah, I always, I just do 1080p on every platform. So I think what I can do is I could lure him over here. Oh, I'll show you the big guy if his corpse is still here. This is where I killed him, by the way. Ah, oh, it's gone. Yeah, he's right here. Yeah, you have to watch the VOD. I'll be uploading the VOD to YouTube anyway. But if I can shoot these guys and attract them over here, then I might have a chance. I think it was hitting nothing. Yep. It was bugged. Shit, that was a waste of ammo. I think it's hitting the tree, and the tree technically is blocking the shots. Shit, reload. He got me right there. Damn it. Um, I can abandon it and just go right here anyway. I'm like, I'm not going to use my adrenaline since I'm on the safe spot anyway. He's nearly dead. See how quick they can get you, though? It's crazy. A couple shots. That's all it takes. The robots, they're automated. It's like a national defense system. Jeez. It's like one or two shots and I'm dead. Like, it's so bad. Basically like Skynet, but like um, developed in like I think they started developing this in the 70s, they said, or the 60s is when development started. It's a much older, much older tech. This is in the 80s, like this takes place in the 80s. There we go. So you can see how it's like, they have like gas cans on them and gas tanks on them. They use gas like powered, you know, like they're, they're like really like old in the way that they're designed. Skynet, but from Ikea. Yeah, really hard to put together. But yeah, man, if they made a Terminator game like this, oh, it'd be fantastic.
It's such a good game. Uh, what is the rounds that I use for nine millimeter armor piercing? These are submachine gun ones. Okay. okay, I got them. Just making sure I'm not missing any. Recycle this shit. I need to find an ammo station. Yeah, let's get rid of this. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no worries. Wanna get coffee? What, on the way home? If you want. Yeah, what do you want? Yeah. 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 Okay. That'd be cool. You got it. Word. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, the robots would be harder to kill in that. Maybe. I mean, it might be like a trade-off, because like, if you were to do like a Terminator game like that, you know, you could do like, um, uh, what do you call it? You could definitely do more modern guns, too. Okay. Uh, let's see. I have the extended mag on that, right? Okay, good. Yeah, you can upgrade armor, clothing, too. Um, so that's this thing here, but the way it works basically is like you get schematics and all I know is bullet resistant jacket like the first level of it and you take a bunch of steel and adhesive and stuff and you line your jacket with it basically um, and so you can take like any of these like Jackets I got so many from the DLC Like a midsummer stuff And then you can add stuff so like there's fire resistance um, And then I've got bullet resistance on this one right now to like modify them. It's only 1%. Like it's very little, right? Like they don't give you a whole lot. You know, and then you got to build up from there. So you got to get more advanced schematics. They take more materials and so on. And then you get a little bit more robust stuff. So I did get rid of the hunter from the relay station, which means I have a bunch of runners left to do. It's a beautiful engine though, eh? Like look how good it looks. So this is the same engine as Rage 2 and Second Extinction. And it's all done by Avalanche Studios, a Swedish development team. And it's their Apex engine, that's what they call it. How many hours in? Um, on this playthrough, maybe eight or nine. Um, this playthrough, I my old character was corrupt anyway because it was so long ago that I used them and so much of the game changed. I had a lot of issues at launch. Obviously, like, quest issues. But, um... I, I was fine with that anyway because I was happy to, like, start over. Hard to hit that tank on his back. Ah, damn. This gun is really tough compared to the other hunting rifles. It's not nearly as accurate. It's because it's like an, a semi-automatic too. It's just not nearly the same. somewhere did like a rage 2 ran yeah same with this man like the frame rate in this it's like 160 right now 130 like 120 it's always like over 120 it's crazy think you get energy weapons no there's no enemies that have energy weapons either Yeah, like I said, man, it's 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 like a alternate reality, right? So it's based in like the past, but with human created stuff. Like there's no aliens or anything, right? This is all human creation, so 
yeah, it's all based in like just normal ballistics. Someone fire. It's always weird to see someone fire bullets at it. Yeah, because they made it so really good. So like you have to take apart like um, their armor first. You know, like you can't just like. You could just shoot at them and just do raw damage, but it's it's really inefficient. They have weak points, and sometimes those weak points are covered with armor. And then they they have like a looter aspect to this too, where you level up like your character, and then you get like higher quality weapons. So you get like blue, green, purple, gold weapons. Um, and then they literally change in quality. Like the sights will be all cracked on like the lowest quality one. They'll be all dirty when you look down the site. Like see, there's still some dirt in this one. But you can get like it's all cracked and everything. Um, it's wild. And then like, yeah, the, there's a whole bunch of character progression stuff too. So you can level up and get different things. And then you can find the weak points on enemies. But they ha also go up in quality. So like orange is like the base quality. Green is the next one. There's like black and like yellow and so on. It keeps going up. They get more and more difficult as the game goes on and as you level up and then they drop better loot and so on and so on. But they actually get more armored too. They don't just change color, you know. All right, Glenn. Take it easy, man. Like, they'll protect their weak points. You have to shoot the armor panels off of them so you can get to their weak points and then shoot the weak points. But you can get a bunch of, like, perks that are really nice for that, too. So you can get, like, um, uh, component damage, right? So do more damage to the weak components. They'll burst blue sparks when you hit them. And you can do things like uh, you can mark things as well. Uh, so you can mark these enemies right this and they'll actually be highlighted to everybody and then everybody that's marked takes more damage which is really nice it's really cool there's a lot of great perks in this it makes sense to be like support when you're playing with a team and then you get like these like specializations at the end oh, there's a big guy right there by the way that's like the smoldering ruins of a big guy Oh, I only saw like a picture of it, uh, Jeremy. I can't watch SNL until today, at some point when it gets uploaded somewhere. Yeah, I'll watch it tonight. Shooting panels reminds me of Rise and Zero Dawn. Yeah, it's similar like Rise and Zero Dawn. Kind of terrifying like that too, but this is way more scary because you just—it's just a much a harder game than Rise and Zero Dawn. Take a weapons from robots and reuse them in the spot. No, you get—they have the same ammo types as you. But you can't like use their weapons no sometimes they have weapons on them which is just like arbitrary but yeah there's no like they're just human weapons they do use the same bullets as us like they have runners with sniper rifles on them and they fire off like a single shot that can one hit you uh and then they have other ones that are like you know using handgun ammunition automatic weapon ammunition things like that i was there already Hmm. This is going to be a DLC mission, I think, coming up here. Yeah, I came up here earlier. I don't know what I'm in for up here. A safe house, at least. I might have to clear it out, though. There's a runner there. F and X class. That's the DLC. F, F and I X. I don't really know what the F and I X DLC even does. Really. I'm curious if I can see it. Um, yeah, see this F and I X rising? I just bought all the DLC.
I've seen what it is. Made by F and I, machines started repairing on the southern coast. Thankfully, it seems there's also survivors and stuff. Oh, okay. So it's like a, a whole different like series of robots or whatever, I guess. That's weird. Interesting. I don't know how strong or whatever they are. I got one achievement for the FNIX thing, and I took when I took down that big guy. Oh, I hear a big one. Here's foot. There he is. Look at him. He's over there. That's one of the guys I took down earlier. They take a lot of work to take down. When your weapons are higher quality, you can like really get them, but yeah, it takes a while to get there. Is it just that runner? Oh God, I think I need a better gun in my secondary. What do I got on this thing? I got a few rounds maybe. Yeah, I got a few. Oh shit, I just stood up for no reason, I didn't mean to. definitely different than the last time I was here. Like, I remember coming to this bunker. I remember there was a big guy over there somewhere. I remember that. But yeah. Like, having these little, like, makeshift forts and stuff, this is weird. Any dialogue with NPCs? Not at all in the base game, but I think in the DLC there is. But yeah, like you just, you, like everybody's dead. You basically, the whole premise of it is, it kind of tells a story like the way Fallout 76 originally did. Like you show up to this place, like you come home because you've been on vacation and everyone's dead and there's robots everywhere and you have to figure out why. So there's nobody left alive to talk to. Which is part of the reason why it's so great and haunting, right? Is because there's just no comfort in a narrative like that. Because you're like, well, clearly I'm going to find somebody and they're going to just explain it to me. No, you don't get that comfort. Transcript of Morse code. December 19, 1989. War is lost. Hope is not. Region with three islands. Go North Island. Where sun sets, where land ends. We are 23. Safe for now, Doctor. Those alien tin cans cannot win. Truth is right here. Hmm. I don't know where that is. Look how big these cities are, though, too. Like, I haven't been there yet. I've been here. I know the airport's coming up. Well, the first time I played through, and then I went down this way, I think. And I think I've been to some of these places. Look how big that city is. Like, <laughs> I still only just scratched the surface of this map. Like, look it. I've only done this. <laughs> like, there's all of this. <laughs> it's a huge game. Huge, huge game. Okay, so it says that it's this way. Oh, I was there at that camp. Oh, shit. Oh, it's it's gone. There's no survivors at that camp. I've already been there. Okay, well, when I get this safe house unlocked, I'll just fast travel over there. Oh, see, it's like it gives you hope, right? You're like, hey, we made it here and we're safe. It's a good place. 
Like, I've already been there. It's it's a hellhole. It's bomb to shit. What did I just get? What kind of rifle was that? Oh, God. Still getting gray weapons left and right, man. I'm really surprised. I'm not getting better quality ones yet. Got a few greens, but, like, I should be getting blues soon. There's still like two other weapons around here somewhere. They could be inside, but I'm just gonna double check the outside here. Yeah, there's one right there. What's that? Ugh, got another gray. Well, there's still a jet here. I mean, if we moved everything, maybe we could, like, move this jet. <laughs> Let's just take off and get the hell out of here. Destroyed 10 TVs, 25 ticks. Ride a bike for one kilometer without falling off, huh? Okay, there's, like, dailies. They added to this. Uh, all right, cool. I got some stuff here. Hmm. Yeah, bicycle. Yeah, you can you can make bicycles now. I got a collector thingy. I mean, obviously, it's kind of dangerous because, like, when you're on a bicycle, you're, like, really, really noticeable. But they're really clunky. <laughs> like, they're not the best. They get the job done, but... Oh, yeah, I should totally pull all this other shit out. Video edit uh, with Queen while riding. Yeah, single speed fix. Uh, yeah, it's just fixed. Like, there's no... Yeah, you can't do anything else. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep that stuff. Um, I was gonna say, uh, I already rode the bike like in the la in like last week's video too, like on Sunday. If you want to see it, it's on um, it's on YouTube as well. Like if you wanted to grab anything from it or whatever, you're welcome to, man. <laughs> it's easy when it's on YouTube, you know. So Tran, Tran had to take down a big guy. Oh my god, it was brutal, dude. Like one of those huge dudes. It took everything I had. And he was like a nemesis and everything. It was so tough. You weren't here for it. It was so tough. Uh, small fuel cell. Okay. I don't got anything else there. Uh, I totally forgot today was Mother's Day. Should have known it would be on or anything. Yeah, it's alright, man. Yeah, I can't. It's like there's nothing I can do for Mother's Day anyway. Like, I can't go see my mom or anything. So, you know, I'll just call her later and say, hey, goodbye. Yeah, it's going, man. I made a lot of progress. Um, DLC stuff is pretty cool, I gotta say. All right, so, so far, I still don't have any better ammunition. Um, the weapons are awesome. You know? And sync the map. Yeah. Are there jumps you can take, like BMX style, GTA, backcountry riding? No, nothing like that at all. Very, very plain bike riding. Yeah, it's really basic. I'll show you. It's like super basic. You can ring a bell. But yeah, it's really like floaty. You fall off very easily. But yeah, that's it. That's all it does. It's pretty boring. Could turn it. That's all it is. But yeah, um, I'm gonna go over here anyway because I need to. No, I should be able to fast travel there. There it is. The bike, yeah, it's pretty crap. They need to add an e-bike. That'd be nice, right? 
Yeah, I was gonna say manual. Yeah, like uh, Outriders. Um, maybe sometimes during the week, but I could do Saturday again next week. I'm doing this every Sunday, but I could totally do that on um, a Saturday. Oh, I see. Now there's enemies there. Defeat the machines laying siege to it. Oh, shit. Oh, he's right over there, too. Oh, there's a lot. Come on. Did they get each other? I think I got them both. Yeah, we can do we can finish up Trickster on Saturday. No, you can go like if you're all end game, he can join in too. It won't matter anyway. Like every everybody can join in. It's gotta scale everybody down. You don't have to have a trickster. No, I just play with whatever you want, man. That's just like what me and him were leveling up. Like you and me were leveling Devastator. Me and Emmanuel were leveling tricksters. But yeah, like I my trickster's 26, so I'm gonna finish him up. Finish up the campaign. Nah, just play with whatever. Like the one that we just were playing with, it's fine. Doesn't matter what level your character is, just join in. Yeah, maybe you get, if you want, I would recommend getting at least if you're going to play a lower level character uh, to level them up at least so you're not too low level. So like if he's level 18, maybe get him like 20 or 22 or something like that. Should be good. Yeah, so when we came here, this was part of the DLC area, by the way, Trent. That's why we didn't notice that this was a thing. And that's what I'm doing right now is a DLC mission. Oh my god, they're hunters too. Shit. This is gonna be brutal tough. What is he doing? It's like kinda out of it. Oh, I see why. Because he's a gas one. Weird how far away I can be from him, honestly. What the? What's he doing? It's hard to hit the weak points from here. Shit, that whole thing just came off of him right there. Let's see if we can get a better angle. Can you about 8 to 10 on your Devastator? Yeah. Fine. Why is he, like, not coming after me, though? Like, that one's not even, like, paying attention that this guy's getting shot. Can't get his weak points from here. It's a good hit right there. Quite a few good hits on this guy. It's a fireworks looking thing in the sky. Petrol thing. Uh, it looks like it's a radio tower. I think. I'm not sure what the top really is. Is that just like electronics or what to that? But yeah. Uh, 
it just said I destroyed one. But this one's not there. That's weird. He's clearly still up. Maybe one of them killed each other or something. That's weird, right? I only see four targets, so one of them is down somewhere. Got one of them. Are bullets resources scarce? Yes, but for some reason I've this this one I just had a ton of ammo for. Um, probably because I've been saving it up for quite a while. guy over here. Shit. Reload. You lie on the ground? Yeah, we can't hold your breath yet. You gotta, like, unlock that. It's like an upgrade. Um, but yeah, you can... You can lie on the ground. It just makes it harder to run, though, when you get shot at. I think there's actually, like, NPCs over here, though, after you stop this assault. running at me. They, these guys do run right at you and charge right at you and deal a ton of damage uh, if you let them. Okay, one sec. I need to switch out my... I got advanced. I got standard, though. These are fine. Okay. It's hard to see what I'm shooting at. Oh, okay, it's a hunter. It's a normal ass hunter, which means I'm gonna have to run. Yep. Any buildings to help me take these guys out usually? Hopefully this building's open. Find out in a minute. not but even if I can get around the corner or something like this it's helpful I feel, I feel like these things lasted way longer before. Go for it. Try to get him with the pistol. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Damn. I was a tick. Just those two ticks. GG. Yep. GG. Oh, shit. I'm 
supposed to go in there. It's a search for survivors. In that? Um... I'm just gonna do this, I guess, and wait and see if that ends. Get some health upgrades, bruh. Oh, you'd be less visible, that's right. Run fast? Yeah. Just, I think it ends. God damn, how could anyone survive that, right? I mean, if they're underground in a bunker, maybe, but... It looks like it's slowed down, at least. Jesus. Okay, so I looted that one. I don't remember where I killed the... Oh, yeah, I got the other one. Yep, I got him already. This corpse is, like, hanging on to the edge of this thing. Here. Oh, God. Okay, it's on that side. Oh, I didn't get all the weapons here. Damn. It's weird that I can open the door, but why didn't the robots, right? Like, <laughs> So you guys could just open that door, probably. But I guess they don't know how to, maybe? Oh, there is a corpse up there. How the hell do I get up there? Can I, like, walk on this thing? Maybe. <laughs> With the power of love, yeah. <laughs> That's how we would do it. Oh, yeah, you can do the crouch jump. Oh, I don't know if I can get up there, though. Yeah, because I can't jump over that, right? Oh, there's a gun up there. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. Because I can't jump over that wall. It's weird. Yeah, we were here earlier, but this wasn't like this, but I didn't own the DLC, so I guess it was only, like, kind of half complete. Yeah, did you, call, did you call your mom, Jeremy? Hmm. She wants anything she can call. That's funny. That's not the way it's supposed to be done, Jeremy. Okay, they've got this all barricaded in here. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, it's an NPC. The first one ever. Uh, I'm up. I'm up. Don't rush me. You must be one of the new kids. In case nobody's told you yet, I'm Kalle. Go ahead and grab a walkie-talkie and uh, Freddy explain the rest. Okay. Uh, wait. Where's Freddy? Where's everyone? All I remember is hitting my head. God, this place is completely destroyed. There's an ancient ring fort out in the farmlands. But uh, I'm in no shape to travel that far. Can you, will you please help me? I guess so. Is that tinfoil hat? It totally is. He had tinfoil hat down here. Yo, that's weird, man, that like, he's just there. Can I kill him? Nope. There can only be one remaining survivor. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
that? The ring fort? Oh, I see. Okay. I first need to find out if my nephew or anyone else made it out of here alive. Right. I know we just met, but in this world it's humans against aliens. So I'll trust you and uh, you trust me, okay? <laughs> I did just try to shoot him. Um, all right. Like, I guess I can get to that fort. No, no, no. I don't need to place a waypoint. What? No, just... There we go. Fast travel. You don't see Mother this day as a real day, huh? That's all right, Jeremy. That's fair. Hey, man. I'm not going to question how you feel. Oh, my nose. All right. Oh, God. I, like, want to ride the bike the one kilometer to do the thing, but I don't want to get caught, you know, like... <laughs> by, like, that big guy, for instance. Walking around over there. I hear other footsteps of other things. What's up ahead? Oh, God. A roadblock. What eye? What shape? What shape? It's a planet of the Earth. What shape is planet Earth? Can it be one shape? It's pretty, it's pretty like bumpy and shit. Can you really define it as one shape? Oh no, it's stuck. Oh, the bike's stuck. It's a stupid log. Well, that's it, as far as I can take the bike. See, I don't bother with the bikes, man. They're pointless. Button four. Here we go. Oops. Hmm. Okay. There's a runner there. Hunter over there. There's a side mission up here. Something's spotting me. Relay beacon. Yeah, there's the hunter right there. That's probably what almost spotted me. See, if you're walking around or you're biking around, you can get caught so easy. Just check in the rest of the commonly known facts. Oh, I got you. Well, not, not celebrating Mother's Day is one thing. Doesn't mean... Doesn't mean anything. Or not willing to acknowledge it. That's fine. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not the biggest fan of my mom either, but she knows why. Oh, it's on that side of it. Hmm. Some crap there. He's really nearby. Might have heard that right there. Well, he's got Outriders on Xbox because it's Game Pass. So technically, he could play it. He just doesn't like it, right? Oh shit, it's a freaking hunter too. Let's see if I can find some other stuff here before I fight him. Maybe I can get a bit more ammo.
to hear it like so freaking obvious, right? That hunter's already here. Get drunk, make you forget. Yeah, Jeremy's got all the tips, see? Out to Francis. Leave the kids in emergency. Let's see. A snatch a rifle at Snowball's pig pen uh, at Galatra across the street. There's a rifle. Find the farm named Galatra or whatever and search for Snowball's pen. Oh, I see. Across the street that way. Yeah, you found me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. You found me, bitch. right in here. I guess he wants revenge. Where'd he go? Shit. Hmm. So ridiculous. It is a map update, you don't have to read it. I just read it to understand the context a little bit. Like, what am I looking for here? Oh, I'm looking for a gun, you know, it's gonna be stashed. Ah, okay. Makes it easier than like, you know, just kind of randomly looking at it. Like you get there and you're like, wait, what am I supposed to do? It's really hard to actually get them from up there. Oh shit, he's like in the house. trying to scan me yeah because otherwise you end up getting there and you're just like wait what am I supposed to do oh shit snuck out the front door when I wasn't looking. So many of them. Still more here. Yeah, he's a heavy duty one. Oh shit! Snuck in behind me. He's in the house. to go up. Jesus.
Okay, I don't know what that sound is. There's way too many of them out here. Oh my god. Jesus, it's a sniper one too. Like scream, yeah. Like scream. Where did I put that code? I gave it to you. Where did you put the code? Oh, you go to the referral thing. Sorry, my bad. I'm like, where did I put the code? I said, where did you put it? Yeah, you just put it in the referral spot. Still another one out here. It's across the way over there? Weird. Oh, he's right there. Shit. Whoa. They're definitely appearing in here, like, incorrectly, dude. They're teleporting in here. And I just walked through there, and there was nobody in there, and then he just appeared. I think they're able to, like, skip through, like, a wall or something to get in here. Can't break that. Shit. Why are there so many? This is so ridiculous. One like right here too. Trying to get in here. Come on, dude. Dude, do I get them all yet? Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Huh, <sighs> that was so much. All right, did I get enough ammo yet for this thing? I can switch back to this guy. Okay, I did. Cool. What an ordeal, man. There was so many of them. That big guy's pretty close. I would love to take the anti-tank rifle, like, to them when I get a bunch of ammo for it and see if I can hit weak spots and really, like, take them out, because I think they'd be awesome. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that pig farm was across the street that way. Goddamn. Am I a Lost fan? Either you love it or you don't like it. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, it's super good. Super good, especially like, yeah, the caveat that like, it's really good for um, network TV too. Oh shit, I'm like, where's that smoke coming from? The power line up there smoking. A relay beacon nearby, I did, yeah. Over that way, okay. I remember one of them coming up recently. I just didn't do it yet.
Hard to get him. cars over there there might be ammo that way too aha the gun that she mentioned it's uh an all right hunting rifle actually it ain't bad it ain't bad at all yeah I can put like a nice scope on it I've got a silencer for it I have lots of ammo for this just not here but I have lots of ammo is it better than the other stuff no, not necessarily, but we'll see. That's a television event that never seen proportion pre Netflix. Yep. Really shape the cliff ending like binge TV formulas. Yeah, I only watched it like after it was all done. I think or like the last season was like on the air and I was like, oh, I'll start watching it now. You know. Like near the end. But it was great though, because people would be like, oh man, this and this and this happened and stuff. And I'd be like, I have no idea what you're talking about. And I'd totally forget. Like, spoilers were like almost impossible to remember when you never watched the show. Because you're like, I don't know that character. I don't remember that. I don't remember what? Who is that? Where did that take place? Like, you can't remember anything that happens, like, without, like, context. Like, Ben, the others, shut up in the hatch. Really, we have to make it look like he could possibly be friendly. Love that actor. Yeah, he's super good. I tried watching Person of Interest. I just could not get into it. I was like, no, nah, this is not the same. Like, he's a great actor, but this... Subject matter just doesn't interest me at all. But yeah, he's a great actor. He's super good. Like, he's such... Like, so much freaking range. Because, like, you know, for a while, you're like, ah, oh, he's, like, innocent and helpless. You're like, oh, he's this evil mastermind. And then, ah, oh, he's kind of pathetic and sad. You feel bad for him. But then later on, you're like, holy shit. Like, he's a, he's a trained killer. <laughs> like, he goes all over the place. It's so wild. Manifest, Lost Lake Show? No, I don't think I've ever seen it. Doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. Yeah, the time travel bits. Yeah, it's super cool. The way you can move around the world. I love it. You know the wheel that like he uses to like you know manipulate the island, that showed up in a game too in Singularity. And like it was such a shame because I was playing it and no one got it. And I was like, ah. Oh. I was like, it's a wheel from Lost. And they're like, what? Like the goddamn wheel. It was like super hidden too. It was a really good Easter egg. Desmond's character was so fantastic, too. Like, how could you not love him? Yeah, that wheel's, like, one of the most important things in the whole series, right? And you're like, like this, this changes and answers so many questions. Like, it changes so much, though, of what he's able to do. Damn, a lot of stereos and shit in here. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so, right? No. Anything out back? No. Lock with him too. Yeah, I think I don't know if it's the first time. Like, 
he might be with them the first time he goes to it, but then they, when they show Ben's own story of like how he uses it to move around, uh, Locke's not with him then. But like, yeah, I think the first time we're introduced to it, he's with Locke. Okay, so I'm supposed to go that way for that. But there is a beacon over there, but it probably needs a lot of things killed, I'm going to bet. Wait, where am I anyway for like quest stuff here, whatever, skill points and stuff? I think I'm going to go. I'm going to ignore the beacon for now. I'm going to go this way. Or maybe, I don't know. I do have a house here I can use to like lure them all over to. Yeah, Locke's a love hate relationship. That's why it's perfect. Yeah. We can all agree, though, no matter what, if you love him or hate him, he had the shittiest deal almost consistently, you know, through his life. It's so crazy. And he has a goddamn hunter over there, too. A cop car over there. There's a house. I wonder if. I'm just curious if, like, I don't know which way he would come at me. Would he walk right through here? Probably would walk right through here. The echo from the gun. That's amazing. Oh, come on. Oh, he navigated right around it. That sucks. He's the hardest guy to take out of the mall anyway. Yeah, it's a point where he's gonna lose his legs. He got like conned by his father which is terrible yeah and his father was such a piece of shit like it overall too because he was also freaking sawyers or whatever too and shit it's so crazy it's so freaking intricate and awesome I'm trying to get them they're very far away Reload. Come on. Like Jack Kate Sawyer. I like Sawyer like season five or four or whatever Sawyer when he's like hanging out with Dharma, like acting all chill like he works there and shit. <laughs> you know, like, it's so funny. Like can you see him in that? That's so great. I love that shit. It's so much fun. He's trying to live like a normal life, I guess, like all considering, you know. What's this this side of me, man? What's this? What is this? T 
Damn, it's a lot of wreckage over there, too. Yo, I hear something. Oh, yeah, there's a big guy over there. I hear something else over here, too. Terrifying, there's something over here. Yeah, I was looking at Discord, yeah. Artist Simon Stalin Hag or whatever it's talking about. Oh, what are they from exactly? Sorry, maybe I missed that. I think that's just like his creations and shit. Yeah, inspiration for this game? Probably seems like it yeah it's cool i mean it's definitely like way like lower tech but like intentionally damn hunter over there too There's a lot of shit around here. Another drone that way. Running outside right now to hear him. Goddamn. Yeah, I don't know what that side mission was. This is terrifying. Tales from the Loop, that's it. It was on Amazon Prime Video, not Netflix. Sounds familiar. Damn. They are very much aware of my presence here. One of them just killed one of the other ones. Oh, it's the big guy. Oh, come on. Wait, wait. Mace ammo there. There's a little guy around here somewhere. Ridiculous. At least they hurt each other. Jesus.
This is insane. The big guy most definitely won't have enough firepower to kill. Yeah, at least the houses are sturdy. There's no destruction system in this game. Otherwise, I'd be screwed so many times. There's also no weapon degradation either, which is really important. That would also suck. got the 50 uh the 0 0.50 rounds dude that's awesome because then i can actually maybe take this big guy out i think i kept the weapon on me oh shit i didn't think he was gonna get me there i thought he would get blocked by the porsche changed up here. Maybe hide in a little bit better spot. Maybe. Alright, let's see. Um, I got grenades. I've also got the boom box, so I might be able to, like, distract him out here. to make them go nuts, right? This gun is badass, by the way. I'm digging it. I mean, I'm running out of ammo. But it's badass. one grenade over there. Oh shit. Maybe like right there. I might have got a few of them. That one dead? Yeah, it's dead. This 
one's kind of acting funny. I don't know what his deal is. I can't believe how much shit is here, like, really. Like, this is kind of ridiculous. I came over here, there was like nothing, and now it's just insane. Oh, shit. Another freaking hunter. I can get him from up top, maybe. I can't believe how many came out here. I think it's because I let that one drone live. And that's all it took. For him to like call in everybody. I don't know how the hell to be that big guy. I mean, being this close, I can't do shit. But if I could run, I think I can. I think I could get out there pretty good. I just have to lose him. Shit. Right there. Yeah, let's see if we can lose him now. Oh, there's a freaking harvester too. There's two big guys. That's a lot. Insane, man. I can't believe I killed as much as I did. I want to like end the combat <laughs> so like I could just stop for a minute. You know, just so I can get the XP from all that other shit and then maybe go back at them. Still out there. Yeah, both uh, the harvester and whatever the hell the name of that other thing is. Oh, I gotta get my binoculars back on. Oh my god. I need to get my binoculars back so I can see what the hell the name of this thing is. We might have to run really far. <laughs> me everywhere. If I go that way, I don't know what I'm going to run into because I've never been there before. But if I go this way, I've cleared this out already. Maybe I'll have a chance. Shit, another hunter over here. Hmm. Oh, you 
he's chasing me still. Shit. I wonder where I can go to. Got a objective over here somewhere though too. Oh, there's another one over there. I think I I think I ran far enough. I'm no longer in combat at least. another one there it's interesting what the heck is that okay where was that blue objective it's that way somewhere oh it's way out there I see God, dude. That's insane. I'm just gonna see what the hell this thing is up here. Became the oppressor. Okay. So I've got a new, I've got a new thing, a new nemesis thing. God damn. What the heck? I've never been here yet. It's like north of that base or just above that base. I should say really, it's not really north. Weird, wonder what end game gear is gonna look like? Like more sci fi. I mean, I've made all the way to like legendary stuff. It's just like the most highest quality weapons. They look the same. Um, I've seen like a higher level enemies too. They look the same basically. They just change their color, have more armor, and more metal plates and stuff on. And we gotta bang off and stuff. I don't know if I've seen every enemy type though. Yeah, there there is an end to this game, like a story end to it. But because it's like open world, like you can keep going after you do that. Weird. Media comm array lure. Oh, there's the last gun for this outpost. Okay, I see. But I think there's probably like a last boss because there's like a main mission. But I don't know if there'd be like a, you know, just inherently unique one or something. I can't see that happening. But I can see a last boss happening. Yeah, I this whole game is like. It's dope. I'm really glad I'm not playing it on normal too, because like, honestly, it was too easy. Act like animals a bit. Yeah. Believable sci-fi. Contemplative yet stressful. Borderline scary. Absolutely. That's why it feels like survival horror to me. That's what I say all the time with this. It's like, well, what kind of game is this? I'm like, I don't know. It feels like survival horror to me. <laughs> you know? Like, sure, it's got all these other elements to it, but it definitely feels like survival horror. All right, the EMPs are kind of a pain in the ass. What was that one thing I just put in there? Okay, never mind. Explosive tank, radios, those can go in there. Uh, it's a lure. Sticky emergency flares are pretty interesting because you can stick them to one of the guys and they'll shoot. 
which is kind of cool. I'm back. I thought the one robot acted like a monkey. Uh, yeah, I can see that. I can kind of see that. Yeah, it's neat though. The way they behave. God, I don't want to have all these things on me right now, so I'm just gonna like store this one, um, and try to get rid of some of this ammo. Yo, but the 50, I don't know, this thing is pretty dope. Like, if I had this gun with me, I could have probably done something there. But this, these BMG armor-piercing rounds are really powerful. But, like, to carry that gun with me, I don't know, that's like adding a whole lot of extra weight. I'd have to drop something else. Okay, I think I'm pretty good for all my shit. Yeah, I definitely need to get more ammo for this guy. Ammo's doing great for this. Oh my god, what a mess. That was that was so intense. Okay. So I was supposed to go over here, but I was just investigating this for fun. There's a collectible back there where that big guy was I didn't get yet, but at least I know on the map I can spot it. It's easy. I think I should go over here, where these docks are here work my way through like these areas and then get to the fort yeah, yeah I'm feeling pretty good about that idea oh, what a mess man oh yeah I gotta equip some stuff I took everything off. Uh, emergency flares I have. I'm going to grab the other... Which one is it? Firework assigned to slot. Emergency flares assigned to slot. That's good. That's kind of what I should have did back there, actually, when I was trying to get out of that house, was just set up some fireworks, you know? Because if I set up the fireworks, they'd go straight up in the air, they'd be distracted by it, and I could run easier. God damn. That was, that was crazy shit. That was so much. Hmm. I think the only reason why it was so much was because of the, um, I let that drone go. Because I didn't, you know, stop it. I don't know what that's up there. We'll see. It's one thing I think I really like about this game that, like, what I like about survival horror so much, like classic survival horror, is you feel almost helpless. Like, I don't like survival horror without combat. To me, it's meh. But I like it when there's combat and it's just okay enough. You know? Because then it's like, alright, I got a chance, but it's really difficult to fight back. This place is pretty destroyed down there. I see nothing standing out right now. Hmm. Seems a little too quiet. Yeah, I'll keep my pistol ready just in case I see a tick or something. I don't hear anything. Doesn't mean there won't be anything here. Yeah, like at this point, in the first time playing through this, I remember feeling much stronger. 
uh, at least on normal difficulty, right? But I think the drops are a little better too. I was getting much more blue drops and maybe even had a purple by now. So the difficulty scaling is pretty awesome so far. Okay, so there's a few things here. What did it say? It said there's a weapon and what? The remove waypoint. Um, collectible, I think. Aha, there's a weapon. See if it's any good. I doubt it. Mm, at least I'm getting green ones. I did get one blue rifle, I guess. That's pretty cool. God, it's so freaky. It's just freaky when there's like nothing. And you're the only person left alive. It's really just unsettling. Yeah, I see. There's a huge fight here. Okay, so there's a weapon, two collectibles, and a mission here. Wasn't expecting a mission. That's cool. Yeah, I gotta start um, breaking down some of that ammo. Weird, this almost looks like it's not even on the map. This must be the edge of the city. Uh, something else over there. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's kind of like two little villages right next to each other. There's a collectible around here somewhere. All right, I'm gonna head back to this one then. worried man some of these shipping containers have like robots in them either they're they could be deactivated but still they could be activated <laughs> or i could be the one to activate them and then bam oh yeah there it is there's a collectible right there the blue horse there's a gun. Who made this? Company in Sweden? Yeah, Avalanche Studios. Oh, cool. I got another one just like this. That's neat. Um, we can go to attachments. We can clear this ammo out of here. We can go to attachments. We can reattach the ammo here. 
Nice. I got another one of these guns identical to this one. It's actually a really good quality gun. just such a super immersive world i mean like if you think about it they basically made this game based on you know where they live right in sweden you know they could they could be right there they're like oh what does it what does it feel like you know just step outside you know play the game step outside yeah it feels right <laughs> you, know? like, you can just do that Let's see if there's anything out here oh, it looks like nothing Put the trailer for Tales of the Loops if you want to immerse yourself further in that world. Alright. Tale from the Loop. Tales from the Loops. Okay. I'll have to check it out. It feels familiar. Like, I remember hearing about it, but I don't think I've ever watched it or, you know, followed up on it. A lot of television stuff just kind of gets missed, right? Because if it's not like... If it didn't exist... Uh, at a certain time when I was like open to it. Oh, I didn't even know what happened, you know? Like, that's happened to me so many times. I think I just wasn't receptive at the time to it because I was busy with other things, and then, oh yeah, I forgot that thing existed. Uh, uh. Yeah. Or if it didn't dominate like media headlines or news in general, just. You know, short mini series, nice. Those are generally my fave. Not a lot of commitment. I right, cool. When it comes to like, you know, games. I'm all, I'm all in. Oh, it's gonna take a hundred hours to beat. Okay, where do I sign up? Shows. Ooh, a hundred hours of show. Ooh. I don't know about that. <laughs> or it's like a hundred hours of a show. Do I have to pay attention the whole time? It's not like a whole contract to watch it. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's only six episodes. Weird. need a gas mask to get in here stay low it's not too bad really like the way the gas is in this game but sometimes you'll stand up in the wrong spot <laughs> Ring sausage, classic type, whole ring. That's cool, it translates to signs when you point at them like that. I didn't know it did that. Does that one do it? Yeah. Cod fillets from the Baltic. Ice cream cones. I didn't know it did that. That's cool. Uh, I wear, let's get back to that. Make sure to record, stream your shows so you can binge them. Yeah, I'm a fan of that. I'd rather binge when I have the time than, you know, try to make the time. I'm still trying to get through Walking Dead season. Oh, there's the other collectible. Uh, season 10 or whatever, like the latest that's out right now. Super long, man. Kind of meh, too, right now, but. I gotta say, with the DLC, though, and, like, the new weapons and, like, the way they've added these extra stories in with the DLC, I like it a lot. I think it's a great addition to it. It feels like it fits the world properly, too. Oh, I see. Okay, that's that one. So there's still a mission somewhere here. I haven't got yet. A manifest? Just letting it record? Yeah. That's cool, man. I don't know 
where this mission is. I'm near the edge of the city here. I figured it would have been on one of those dead bodies or something, but damn. All right. Check this dock here real quick. Yeah, I see nothing. Um, I guess there is that those buildings over there. They could be part of it. I should check the seats on this thing too. Yeah, okay, nothing. Hmm. It's weird. It's weirdly quiet. I need to get myself a drink. I think I'll do that here in a moment. Can't open any of these. Hmm. Alright, I've missed it somewhere. What the heck? I don't know where it would be. I'm trying to think. Uh, I mean, like, the, the attention in this area definitely wants to go towards, like, this store right in the middle of it, right? That kind of makes sense. Did I check this dock? Let's look at one more time. Nothing here. I didn't really look around this side of the store, actually. a lot of time yeah like maybe Jeremy's got a big ass external I can see that I can see Jeremy having a big ass external maybe I won't actually take any damage in there I wonder oh shit here we go yeah that'd probably be it I'm at pointing at Stenagas or whatever someone added a cross to indicate the fishing village fishermen seem to have gathered forces there don't let them take you to the bunkers get your weapons and come join us Tob uh, okay. That was over here. I mean, I guess I... No, I don't really want to go all the way down there. I really wanted to hit this main mission up, so I think I will. Hmm. Don't let them take you into the bunkers is kind of an interesting thing. I'm just gonna, like, go in here for a sec and hide so I can go get myself a drink. Yeah, I said take, but it stays on the board. Multiple copies, I guess, right? Yeah. You have 30 movies, 300 shows. <laughs> and I never watched. That's a lot, man. God damn. All right, I'm going to head up to the other farm over here. Weird, it shows there's a safe house in front of me. Like, right here. So there must be a safe house at that farm. Right here. Somewhere. Okay. Went through there. Went through those homes. I'm gonna go up this way. This is a safe house? It's a campsite. How safe is this place really gonna be? Huh? I mean, it's a travel point. Whatever, I'll take it. But, Jesus. I don't know about that. Let's see, soft point I'm not using. We're not using that. Using that and not using that. Let's see what else there is in here. 
feel like I've got like way more weight than I rightfully should have right now. And I don't know why that is. Yo, I've got a better handgun silencer on this thing. Oh, right, because I'm carrying two of these rifles. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I just realized that. I'm like, wait a minute. This handgun one is inferior to the one I have. There we go. I don't really know what a better handgun silencer does, like, as far as, you know, like its purpose, but uh, I'm gonna guess it helps to shoot straighter or, like, doesn't reduce the damage as much. Okay, so I think that might be where the collectible is. It's weird that there's nothing out here. Robots. I mean, there could be like ticks somewhere, but damn. Yeah. Yeah, I've got tons of supplies for people that show up in the game now, too, which is awesome. So, when like we co-op people in, especially if you're new to the game, I could just be like, here you go, here's like, you know, like a blue rifle right now. Or whatever. It's neat. TV's pretty durable. Yo, JV. Drop in and say hello. Hey, man. Look at this lamp is like, oh, it's popping out. There it comes. Dude, this game's been ridiculously good, man. Coming back to it with all the DLC, especially. Like the hardest difficulty. Oh, it's been super good. Way too immersive. Okay, it's like bandage there. It's gotta be a collectible around here somewhere. Got to be one somewhere in here. Dude, that's weird. Guess it might be outside somewhere. I don't know. Hey, you finally finished watching it? Nice, man. Yeah, it's super fun, right? Like, I'm guessing you enjoyed it because you watched it all the way through. There it is. No little games. Hmm. Okay, um, we're gonna head up to whatever this little tiny collection of homes is, and then we're gonna go over there. Uh, this likely will have something, because it's on a main road. Like, enemies. Like most of it, Hitler one I think was objectively good. Makes me wonder how much the animator is like animating Dong. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I, I liked um pretty much all the like CGI ones. Um the you know, more traditional animation ones I I thought like not even just visually were meh, but um I thought they were just overall kind of meh, you know. They just didn't grip me that much. Where all the CGI ones I thought were pretty freaking dope. Except for the death by orgy, yeah. <laughs> uh, where is he? 
one there. We have a barn we should be able to get into. Trend hosted. What? Yo, thanks, man. Two weapons here. Okay. I say just mostly live action is pretty cool. Hoping I can go into this house. Guess not into that house. There we go. Just gotta find somewhere to like lay low for a minute. Oh my god, why are there so many out there? How is that even possible, dude? Okay, hold up. Let's see if I can get them to look over that way for a minute. So many. God damn it, keeps juking right at the time I gotta shoot. hitting the wrong thing. That was weird. I'm like hitting this thing. You know, I'm looking down sights. Doesn't look like it at all. I've never seen spawns like this, by the way, when I played this on normal. Like, it was nothing like this. This is way more enemies. And they're harder. I never seen spawns like this with three players either. Damn, man. One of them is just consistently shooting at me over here. Like, I can't see him. There he is up there somewhere. He's able to see me, but I can't see him because of the damn trees. can be placed on the ground. No, I don't need that. I need something that is not placed on the ground. I think it's just the difficulty like adds that much to it, man. I mean, it just added in that much to it. They're just like, no, no, no. Add in more and more. Dude. Can't 
Get him. Yeah, flares are like a, a distraction to get them to look the other way. It's weird how they keep moving like that. Like, I keep missing because they keep moving. Like, just a little bit. It's like they're too smart. Oh, now when they get popped, though, they ain't that smart. hurt each other too when they blow up which is nice at least there's some of that i can't believe how many are here though this is remarkable like, i've never seen this many in one spot pre-order days gone nice yeah i'm i pre-ordered it too I grabbed it on Epic too, just because I was like, you know what? I'd rather that. Oh, hey. I got the picture. Nice. Nobody wanted it. Did you grab a coffee? No. Oh. I had to drive here with a giant picture in the back of the Damn, car. that's okay. I was about to go make a shake, and I was like, oh yeah, Lindsay's bringing a coffee. Um, I can make you a shake. Yeah, if you want. I'm so sorry. All good. Where is this guy? Something else just hit me pretty hard over here. Is Lindsay the best? Yeah. She forgot my coffee though. <laughs> she had to grab like a cleaning out like her grandma's place because she went to a home and they had to like go grab stuff so she got like a picture from her grandma's place oh there's a freaking drone over here somewhere Oh my god. There's so much out there. Because there's one drone, I think, floating around. I think he called in everybody else. Every one of these fights now is just so ridiculous. It's like a battle of attrition. These med kits take forever too, man. They're so slow. huge. <laughs> that was really huge. Yeah, it's launching tomorrow. It's all right. I don't know if I want it or not. I want to play it or not tomorrow. Oh, I can't shoot over that thing. The greed one was okay, but...
Wasn't as awesome as I was hoping. Still waiting for Hitman 3 on Steam. And just the first two anyways. Yeah, if you haven't played them at all, you might as well just play them all in um, inside of Hitman 3. It's the best. import all the levels into it. This is way better. Man, what the heck? Sometimes it's like these low quality guns, like you just like, you go to ADS, they don't even ADS at all, like where you think they are. Yeah, man, I would just wait until you get all three Hitmans and then um, play them all inside of Hitman 3. That's the way to do it. Yeah, get the latest engine and... Uh, what do you call it? All the updates and shit. Yeah, the maps are like the most, you know, robust versions. You still get all the same. Well, I don't know about the achievements in Steam. I think you do. But you get everything, like, because it just carries, like, it carries over your progress anyway. Like, within the game, like, as far as getting, like, Master Assassin and all that, like, the ranking. So you might as well just do it all in Hitman 3 anyway. Yeah, it'll import all that anyway. Oh, I got a shotgun choke. It's kind of neat. Okay, and then I gotta go up back and get all those guys. Man, that was a lot of shit they threw at me with this. I can't believe how many there are. Like, it's just like, yeah, whatever. And spawns this much. Like, it's so very much. Like, this would be a lot on normal difficulty. Yeah, on this difficulty, it's kind of insane. Kind of. What the heck? Some weird glow coming from within that basement. Yeah, I just ran in here, right? I didn't get to explore any of this. Oh, this is fancy. Hmm. It's all part of the game. What? Is that meta? Are you trying to be meta right now? I don't understand. I wonder what that gun was. Let's see. Eh. Green assault rifle. A green revolver. What do you do you think apply achievements from the other games or would Hitman 3 make its own legacy? And 2 has legacy achievements? I don't know what happens, yeah, because I never paid attention to the achievements, so I'm not sure. Like, I don't know if they'll grant them to you on Hitman 1 and 2. I think, like, what would probably happen, though, like, I think you could unlock them all in Hitman 1. Or, sorry, Hitman 3. And then go back to Hitman 1, and it'll, like, automatically unlock the achievement. Because it's as soon as you load it up, it's gonna, like, 
basically load your save, right? If it goes backwards. Oh no, it doesn't go backwards. It only goes forward. It only goes towards like the new Hitman, not the other way around, right? So maybe not. To right there. Uh, I could probably get into this barn though. Let's see if I can get to the second layer of it. Let's see what I can find. Oh, I can't. Damn. for an upper floor, man. Am I confused? I don't know. I think you'd have to, ch if you somehow wanted to get all the achievements, I think you'd have to get it on the old one. barely see what I'm shooting at. When I ADS, it gets so blurry. Like, you know, looking through the site, it's so blurry. God, I can't wait to get, like, anything, any other type of scope on this would be great. Oh, I am super over-encumbered. I think. Oh, no, I'm not. I'm close to it. I'm getting close to it. Oh, no, I am. I am. I am over encumbered. I can't sprint. I'm like, I don't think I could sprint. Nope. I cannot. Ticks in here. They actually do put, like, uh, penalties in here if you are encumbered, by the way. It's not just like, ah, you just do whatever the hell you want. Like, no, you actually will stop moving if you carry too much. First, you can't sprint and fast travel, uh, and then you can't move at all until you drop something. over here pretty empty homes I gotta say nothing too much to these <laughs> there was literally nothing in that bag at all Poor dude, he's like crammed in there. Both these look like they're on this side. Hmm, okay. It's 
This guy's got his toilet paper over here. He knows what's up. He kept the right supplies. I think, like, not being able to sprint, by the way, is going to get me killed. So I'm thinking about, like, how I want to how I do this. Four pounds over. It's not that bad yet. I want to break down some of this shit for supplies. Just haven't found a spot in a while. Shotgun silencer? Get out. Hold up. Hold up. No way. What does the choke do right now? Spread reduction. Oh, yo, let's just do a shotgun silencer. That'll be funny. When I use the shotgun, I'm not using it right now. I'm gonna find a better quality one soon. Yeah, he's over there. We need to go to here. I mean, when I get to that fort, there's got to be a safe house there or something and, like, a bench and stuff. So if I make it there alive, <laughs> I should be okay. A silent shotgun hell. Well, it's like a 25% noise reduction. It's not like a 100% a or something. Okay, so right away I can see... Um, there's a drone out there, but there's a big guy near the fort. Uh, two big guys. There's a harvester and... What's that thing called again? Just tank? Okay. There's a tank and a harvester. At the fort. It's just a rock. But they're kind of like just patrolling the outside of it. That's a higher level one too. Military class. Yep. Yeah, he's a higher level one versus this. Doesn't even have a class. Prototype class, I guess. Oh, yeah, prototype class. Right, right, right. And prototype's like the lowest level class. We can get rid of these drones here, but um, they might uh, attract like unwanted attention anyway. Harrow level one looks like a gorilla. Yeah, so he's like a, a harvester. Uh, he's not the same as the tank. He just like, he's just basically got like ranged missile attacks. Kind of like, um, uh, like artillery. Oh, shit. Shit. Just ran into one. I didn't know there was, like, somebody even up here. I can't run anywhere either, too. Because I can't sprint. Hmm. Yeah, it's two hunters there. Yeah, two military class hunters too. Yeah, so then there's like above the military class is like another one that's black uh, painted. I don't know what it is though. I can't remember what it is. I haven't seen it yet because I'm not high enough level, I think, but. I don't know how to get into this place. See. I remember my best friend Boulders and I would spend hours prepping for the end of the world. 
We knew the government was up to something. We heard all sorts of whispers about the secret weapons program. Ring Fort. All right, we're here, I guess. Sort of. I don't know how safe this is. I see a bike thing. Got a consumable station. Locked requires key, so I think I need the key from that guy's house. That's what they're trying to say. When I thought about the apocalypse, it was always me against the government, not me and a bunch of teens against walking tanks from outer space. <laughs> this guy. Um. All right. Wait a minute. What's I gonna do? Um. Shit. I forgot what I was going to do. Maybe nothing. I'm going to go look over here and see. Oh, I know what it was. I was going to get rid of this. Remove this waypoint. It's somewhere over here. Oh, he's got a cave. Oh, would you look at that? There's the safe house. Hell yeah, dude. All right, so pull. Uh, let's see what else we got in here. This, this, uh, that's good. Keep that. It's still good quality. Let's recycle this one away. Recycle this one. I don't know how much the storage box holds, but probably a lot. See, I wish you could just like go from here and just get rid of everything. You know, like. Why can't I? I? Just instead of having to move it back and forth, it'd be nice if I could just switch back and forth between the the storage facilities or whatever the boxes. This is hardcore. Oh, hey, it's another person. Oh, a person. I haven't really talked to a person in a while. What do I do now? Do I shake your hand? <laughs> okay, you're the silent type, I see. I am Veronica Nilsson. I am, or was, an engineer. Now I'm a mole person who lives in these tunnels. Okay. Is that it? Is that the whole story? Locked requires key. It's a mole person that lives in these tunnels. Okay. There is a survivor in the tunnels under the ring fort. Yes. Oh, that poor girl. All alone out there. Well, she'll soon learn she can count on good old Uncle Kalle. All the more reason to make that place easier to defend. Guys, a little weird. Good old Uncle Kale, huh? Yeah, maybe, man. I don't know. <laughs> like, that's a little weird. I don't like this guy. Speaking of moles, should be off. All right. I don't know what that, uh, how the one relates to the other, but I, right, man, that's cool. Have a good day, dude. I'm just gonna get rid of some of these EMPs because I've got too many field radios. Oh, I see. I'm moving. How many do I want to move? Yeah, I move four. I'll keep three. That'll be good. And then, uh, yeah, this is looking much better. Down to 50 pounds. Yeah, take it easy, man. I really need new schematics. Okay, so there's weapons, collectibles, and another mission here somewhere. Yeah, they need the key. Let's 
place looks like it's gonna be shit to defend, I gotta say. Like, I get that it's up on a hill, and, like, you call it a fort or whatever, but, <laughs> like, it's pretty shit to defend at this point. It doesn't look great. He said we're gonna reinforce it and stuff, but goddamn. All right. Okay, so I need to go check those houses for keys, I think. That's what we're doing, right? Might find schematics materials. You need to craft yourself something a few more. There, okay. All right, well, let's go. Let's go there, I guess. That's weird. It's not really showing me the mission, even though it's tracked. Right? That's tracked, right? Yeah. Track? Stop tracking. Okay, well, it's this way. Oh, shit. What's that? I think he's guarding it, and it's downed. Oh, shit. There's so many hunters here. Yeah, that one's alive too. So there's a harvester. There's two tanks. And four hunters at least. That's so many things. What about that way? I think that way might be kind of clear. Man, I could use some help clearing that. Oh shit, never mind. They already just saw me. Well, one of these guys did. Just the hunter did. Look at him sitting there. Now they're all coming. Yeah, I wonder if I go down this way. lose them. Yeah, it's actually pretty far where I need to go from here. That's so many enemies, though. That's a lot. Like, I need, like, Either way high quality, like, weapons or something, or just tons of ammunition to get through that. It's a heck of a lot. It's so ridiculous that, like, I can barely even stand up anywhere, because if I stand up, I get caught so simply. It's ridiculous. Okay, so that one was over here somewhere. Guess the other thing is, like, I could set up a lure, you know? There goes the remote parent's visit. To start the same again, load the ambience in the beta. Yeah, still very good from the beta. Yeah, I loved it too. So what do you mean remote visit? Like you're supposed to do like a, like a Zoom call or something? 
Does your sneak skills progress if you're crouching, stamina, and walking? No, only if you put points into it. It's not like uh, Elder Scrolls or something. If you just do it, it improves. You gotta actually put points into it. Skype, yeah. Okay, I don't see anything at this point. Ah, zoom. Well, you know, whatever. Skype, Zoom, same thing. Same diff. Discord. Don't like it, yeah. Door was blocking a bunch of my shots. Honestly, the silence weapon helps so much because they just can't, like, place you, like, right away. One on that side. God, there's so many here. So many here. It's irrational. I got the wood logs? I just picked up wood logs right now? How? How many people are with you? I'm Kale. And uh I don't know. Right now I'm looking for survivors from How did I just pick up wood logs like that? No, it's not looking good. I'm so sorry. I lost a lot of people too. If you find them, Jesus Christ. Why'd he run so far? They waste a bunch of ammo chasing him. Shit. Shit. It's a goddamn thing here. Claps on wood pile, IKEA pockets. Oh yeah, that could be it. Yeah, that could be it. That's how I did it. These guys are the worst. It's going the other way. Maybe I can Oh, I'm stuck. Shit. I can fast travel luckily before they catch me. That's happened to me twice today. I've gotten stuck underneath that same stupid door trying to sneak underneath of it. Do I actually keep that wood or like, like, is it just on me? No, I don't think it's actually like an item. So I still need to like clear out that whole area to get to the other one. Um, this one here. As crazy as that shit is, I have to get there. I don't know how the right way to do it. I don't know if they move away from it enough. Like that guy's literally just standing on top of it. There's two of them there and that big ass harvester. 
What I think I should do... I should get the... The big-ass gun. The BMG. And see what I can do with that. Because if I'm able to at least... Get some shots on it, it'll be alright. Alright, let's see what I got for ammo, though, anyway. Sort some shit out. Store item. Store item. Store item. Um, hollow point I don't need. Okay. There they are. I only got a little bit. I only got a little bit of rounds for this thing. It's also not very good quality. Oh, weird. It's missing its attachments. Oh, that means they're gone. Well, that sucks. I'm going to have to take an attachment from this guy. It took all the attachments off that gun for some reason. I think it's like because I put it into storage. It did that, but it shouldn't. Like, that's not what it should do. It should just leave the attachments on the gun and not let me remove them. But whatever. That's kind of crap. Let's see. We want to take off this because I don't have any other sights. I need something for it. Nope. That's it. I can't even use those sights on it. Well, that sucks. Yeah, I've deconned all those. Hmm. That's a shame. That seems like it's super broken. So now I have to try to do this with iron sights. It's not going to happen. I have to be so close to be able to do that. Damn, I can't believe they got rid of that, like, I got rid of it, but, like, I can't believe that they unattached my attachments on this gun for no reason, too. But now I'm going to have to get super freaking close in order to get this shot. Which is entirely experimental, by the way. Oh, look at this. I got another one here. So we've got four giant guys here, basically. As well as a slew of hunters. And some runners. And I don't even know if this will even do it, but let's see. I have to get behind him. That one's actually patrolling. I might be able to ignore that one. If he's patrolling that way, and that guy's patrolling that way, then maybe I could ignore him. That one, though, is right on the point, and he's got a hunter with him. Drone out that way. Can you just sneak? Sort of. You can get pretty close. I can get pretty close to it, but eventually they're going to definitely be on me. These drones will call for help, too. That's why he's running over there. Oh, he just destroyed that drone. But yeah, like, if you let let the drones live like they'll just come through and then everything will aggro to you so this you might as well just take the chance now while the time is safe and get rid of the drone There's a hunter over there, though, too. That's the other problem. That guy. He's a weak hunter, though. That guy saw me. Shit.
I'd rather get this hunter out of there, though. You know? Instead of trying to fight the hunter amidst all that. I could probably get around the big guys, but that little guy will spot me for sure. And give me chase. I don't know where he is. Take any shots at all, you just die so fast. How big is the map? Massive. A massive map. And it takes you a while to get across all of it, too. Show you the map in a sec. Just gotta try to get rid of this guy. Is he stuck or something? Piece of him just came off. There we go. Jeez. So yeah, it's it's a lot. Uh, this is where you start, and I've only gone up to this point here, and there's all that shit. It's a lot. I'm still in combat, because that big guy's technically after me. Yeah, here he's coming up here. accurate with this. What a waste. Because I don't have my freaking scope on that. It sucks. And I can't attach another scope to it. get this like leg messed up there that leg joint it's one of the weak points slow and painful but I can get him it'll help doing. I don't know what he's venting. He just keeps doing that over and over again. I don't know what he's doing. He's having a hard time seeing me, though. I only got a little bit of stealth perk. Really wishing I had the um, the damage to component 
perk right now because these shots would be doing way more damage. But this is actually working okay. It's slow, but I'm actually doing good damage to him. He's starting to smoke. I think what he's doing is he's trying to prevent the overheating. That's why he keeps like venting out all that gas. The nice part about this game is, um, if you like, re you can't like reset an enemy. Meaning like, if I walk away from him, he won't get his health back. Something just went. Something just popped on him. Not sure what it was exactly, but he felt it. Oh yeah, he's smoking now. I gotta get them panels off. Jesus. get a lot of shots on him. He's probably pretty pissed. Alright, we gotta reload. Damn. One of them coming up over this way. The harvester or something. Sounds like it. He's definitely angry. That's it, that thing's out. Still not completely destroyed over there, that's for sure, because I'm still getting blue sparks. takes so long right without like big ass weapons to take this guy out or like other help from other players it's so tough
It like resets right there every time at that moment. I think I'm probably good to move on to the right side. If I can get his right leg. And get all that shit broken on that side. Weird, weird, he just keeps doing this little, like, jog every time. Right? Uh, uh. Maybe he's wedged in something. He might have wedged himself. He came at me pretty aggressively into this, like, forest area. I actually don't know how long it takes to take out one of these things with the sniper. I think we did it in the beta, but I can't remember now. That was also like probably on normal or something and who knows what rifle I had. Oh no, we might have did it the first time we played it actually. Maybe it wasn't the beta. I remember doing it with a yellow sniper. It wasn't that bad. At the airport. That's where I was at. Oh yeah, he's smoking good now. foot. There you go. Yeah, he's got some sparks going in the back. It's tough because that tree is like right in the same spot I need to hit. He is very frustrated. Eh, nothing there. I don't think I can get any more hits on that one. Maybe I can do more hits on that side? Yeah, I think there is. Still seeing blue sparks. He also gets pretty broken. I know, like, once you get him whittled down, like, he acts like, well, he's malfunctioning, right? So he starts to act even weirder than this. He starts walking in circles and shit. Doing nothing. He'll attack, like, maybe every, like, few seconds, like, reduces the attack time, that's for sure. Or time between the attacks. Oh, that was a good hit. Yeah, I don't know if that back is still... Let's see if I can get any blue sparks on it. No, I don't think so. There's a pack he has on his absolute back, but it's really hard to get to. Yeah, it's like you can't see it from the front at all, pretty much. It's like hanging pretty low. I'm gonna just feed him shots right in the front now. He's like pretty messed up, man. I saw like one blue spark come from something there, but I'm not sure what it was. Oh yeah, he's feeling it. Definitely feeling it. I've shot through that front plate. Every shot is like, actually a component shot. Come on, 
that, man. Oh, I forgot I had like 16 rounds. I keep thinking it's like a 15 round. Jeez. Oh, he's so messed up. Wish I had something else, man, right now. Yeah, he's got like the right side and the left side of that front panel. Looks like they're like now the left is giving up blue sparks. <sighs> it's got to be close. Not much left to him. I just shoot like from the hip. That ain't happening. I think the next shots have to be on the bottom of this one because I've got the left and right of that. It's like a triangle. is that it's like right where those lights are maybe right in the center I don't know he's pretty messed up right now Yeah, I see. It's that dangly bit right there. It's one of his guns. I don't know which one it is. It's like the joint of it. Oh, it's such a small spot. It's the, like where the where the gun's being held onto. That's where it is. That's why it's such a tough spot. I wonder if I can get, oh, I gotta equip my other gun. I wonder if I can get close enough just to do this. Let's see, assigned to slot two. If I can just get in there just enough to get that explosive thing and not kill myself from the explosion, this might work. Yeah, they take a bit. <laughs> they take a bit to take down on your own and without any dope ass shit. But you do get a lot of great stuff, which is awesome. Lots of BMG ammo, which is great. Uh, if I had a scope, it'd be even better. <sighs> God damn, I can't believe I can't find a scope for that. Uh, signed a slot. Two. There's a hunter that way. The other guy is up that way. I think we might be okay. 
because I got that other hunter out of there and that guy was guarding it. I think I'm okay. I just got to sneak across this field. I can't stand up. If I stand up, I'm going to get caught for sure. There's just shit everywhere here. They also patrol. So it could get caught on my way back. Crazy how they had like all these tanks out here fighting all these robots. And we're just like teenagers with guns. <laughs> just a couple guns. Yeah, I'd love to clear out all this if I could. Just kill everything here. Yeah, see, he's patrolling, so he's coming back. He'll actually cut us off by the time we get back there, maybe. Or he might just move on through. Oh, I see. Armor plates. That's what we're getting from that. And then there's still something else over here we need to get. next thing is I need to get. I didn't know there'd be another item. I can fast travel back though at least. I don't have to walk back that way. I think. Provided I have enough weight. Yeah, I'm good right now. These quest items aren't taking up anything, which is kind of silly. <laughs> the quest items don't take up anything. There was something here last time I think I was here. Like there was hunters in here. Oh, I went by this at night, but I didn't see anything else here. That's right. Here. Shit. This could be really tough. It's a hunter for sure. Yeah. Heard me. If I can get indoors, I can do okay here. Depends. Oh, I see a door. Oh, I think I just got a code for that one bunker. Yeah, that's cool. I got an entry code. Yeah, nice. Cause that's like a main mission you have to get. Um, entry codes from like basically dead robots here. By killing them, getting the codes off of them. That was so broken though in the in the launch of it. None of that shit worked. <laughs> like every one of the robots would have a code, and you'd get the same code over and over and over again. Nothing would happen. Jeez. 
I thought that would do more damage. It just really doesn't, though. It's kind of disappointing that it doesn't do more. Try to stab me. See how it is, dude. Still says to go to old Boldle's house at the Overtory or whatever. Oh, can that rifle scope go on the B uh, BMG? Because I hope it can. Oh, there's a lot of ammo here, man. Yo, all right, hold up. Let's see. Attachment sights. Nope. I'm gonna have to wait till I find the right sights again. That's six. It was a 612 sight, like it was really unique. It was a really long range one too. God damn. Wait, what did I just pick up? Oh, assault rifle silencer. I think I've got that one already on here. Yeah, I do. And this one, <laughs> I don't even know. Yeah, it's already got a silencer built in. So like, what does it get? I don't know. Strange. <laughs> yeah, where the heck is this mission then? Oh, it's just to go back now. Okay. All right. I think that's it. I think that means I got everything I needed. It just never once updated the quest to say like, hey, this is what you got to do. It just still says the same. Go to old Boldle's house by whatever. All right. I'm going to go back. Okay, let's see what he got. That's all good. Um, I'm gonna put that thing away anyway, because, you know, since it's not gonna matter, um, I think I'm just gonna toss it aside. Until I can get a scope for it. It's super frustrating using it. It seems like such a waste of ammo. And I got lots of rounds for it now, too, which is nice, but. Still, the scope sucks. Um, I don't think I need that. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the rifle scope in there for now. Okay, so we're putting up walls, I guess. I mean, these are very short wooden walls. Like, I don't know how useful they're really gonna be. What the? <laughs> oh, shit. What? Phoenix machines? Already. They found us even quicker than I thought. This is hopeless. Uh. Yeah, I didn't know I was going to be fighting shit, like, immediately. <laughs> Trying to see if we can hide up here, at least, or something. Shit. 
I was trying to get that damn... Because he's going to lure more here, I think. That damn drone. He's, like, right up against it, too. It's definitely the hardest hitting one of them all right there. Whoa! Jesus. That's insane. He jumped right up there. He didn't give a shit. at all right now. A simple one. Oh, I've got some advanced ones. That's not too bad. Wish I had some explosives right now. Just these things, but I gotta, like, place them down somewhere. Okay, let's try this a different way. If I can get one of these. Oh, what the? Not like that. Why does it keep going up? <laughs> Throw mechanics are useless in indoors. There's nothing you can do with them. He's whipping it against the ceiling for some reason. Yeah, the only way I'd be able to do anything here um, would be like if they leave, I could set down some traps. Kind of like what they're doing now. Let me see if I can do that. Let me see. I don't know what this glitch is. Yo, Greg, what's up, man? Okay, that might work. And then let me get. Let me see if I can get this guy over here. Let's see if I can get him. God, these guys take so much. They're so strong, man. Yeah, this is definitely like you should be doing this when you're at the end game kind of situation. Put those emotes in that order. You're so witty. You are witty. Don't ever underestimate yourself. Sell yourself short, bro. You're a witty guy. <laughs> ah, well, there goes the propane. Because they're calling in backup. Because I still can't get that damn... That damn drone out there. They're calling in backup now. Son of a bitch. There's two of them out there. They're not even part of this thing. It's that drone. I'm going to have to, like, sacrifice myself and respawn back in here, I think. Because if I can't, then I'm never going to get out of this. They'll just keep spawning indefinitely. That's a dumb system, honestly, how difficult it already is. Where is he? There he is. Ooh, I make it? I think I made it. There we go. 
now I gotta clear out all the shit it spawned in. Freaking military ones are so strong, dude. That's so insane. All right. All this shit in the surrounding area just came in. Hopefully none of the big guys made it up here. That'd be the worst. health. I mean, I can make, like, crappy ones, but they're really crappy. I do have, like, the paramedic one, but those are really good to save for group play anyway. And I only got three of them. That's not a lot. Yo, Jess, what's up, man? I'm good, dude. How are you? Freaking gas. Oh, this guy and his gas. Let's see if I can get. These are the mana man. How are you? Jeez. It's not doing a lot because I can't get his weak point. He's stuck in this thing. He is. Well, that sucks. Because I can't get in there. I wonder if I can get up on top of that thing and see him. Take some more. Well, thank you, man. When he sticks his, like, like that out, so I can, I can tag it real quick. Hold on. What if I go, like, here? I know, he's behind that truck. I think he fell through the freaking floor, man. He might just pop out, too. Yeah, I don't think I can open this until this mission's done. And I, the mission won't be done until I get him. That's all of it, you're out, yay. <laughs> yeah, no worries, man. That's funny. Shit, dude. I can see his weapon sticking out, see that? I can hit it. Hmm, I wonder if, hold on, let's see. That worked. 
That worked. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, he's glitched in there, yeah. He, like, he jumped on the roof. I don't think he was supposed to be able to, and then he fell through the roof. Because, like, I don't think they made it so, like, that enemy could be up there. And then he fell through. There'll probably be another wave, though, coming up. Which I'm not ready for. Like, I don't have enough ammo for all that. It's too much. It's too much, man. I'm a genius, I know, right? I'm a genius. <laughs> I can't loot him until I get through this, I guess. I'm pretty sure, though, it's gonna be, like, another wave. Like, the mission's not updating properly to tell me stuff. It's just, like... It keeps going back to something else, and it says to do this other thing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Watchtower. And now it's, like, updating properly. Let's see. Okay. All right, now, is it updating right? Defend against waves of enemies. Right. That's what I thought. Oh, wait. No, I already did that. Now it says talk to Veronica. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I already killed everything. Five darts is too much? Like, what? What, <laughs> what are we talking about? So you destroy a marked enemy. Flanking. Mm. I feel like component damage might be really good to have. But yeah, obviously, like, the health is nice. Movement noise, less movement noise. Crouch faster. Down but not out. Hmm. Without getting knocked down. I don't really care about that. I don't know what I want to do. Stamina recharge is nice. Visibility is pretty good. I think I'm going to go with that. It's just being, like, less noticeable is really helpful. It's really hard to pick, right? Because they're all really good perks. I'm glad this place seems secure, but that just means Phoenix will learn and adapt from this encounter. I wish I knew what to write for Make preparations before the attack. For now, I ain't got shit, okay? How about that? We'll have some introductions to do very soon. I have... Jenny, Kenneth, and Let's see if I can do this for now. They were a part of our old group. They made it out. I got a silencer and, on this thing. Uh, they ready to pull their weight. Hey, hey, make awesome. preparations. It gives me What's 40 seconds. And they're chatting about this. Like it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't line up to what's going on. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, he, he didn't make it. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So Ring for shed. Yeah, I think you really need to have other people with you on this cuz that's crazy. You got company. Don't let a single one through. Yeah, right. We're not gonna lose another camp. I think I really need to have higher level shit for this. Oh yeah, I've got no health. I forgot about that. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have did this. I got no health I can pick up or anything. Was that one? Yeah, I can make these.
Oh, weird. I gave me like way more than I thought it would give me. The hunter in there. Freaking hunter with his damn gas one, too. Yeah, I don't know how I'm supposed to like kill all those guys that fast. That's a better guns, maybe. Reload, reload, reload. I can't even go out there to fight him. Yeah, I think I'll just have to like redo these missions like with uh, either way higher level gear because they're like DLC missions or with like at least teammates. It takes so long to heal, too, like, even between these. Like, I gotta... Uh, because they're the worst healing kits. The lowest level. Yeah, I can't... I still can't get out there, even. He failed to protect the ring fort. All right. Um, I don't know if that mission fails forever or... Or what. It's still there. What the heck? There's no smoke, though. Yeah, okay. You gotta come back and do it again. Yeah. I can come back and do that later, then. If I had, like, tons of ammo and shit, if I wasn't already at, like, nothing before this, I could totally do it. But it'd be much easier with, like, one other player. Okay, so the mission that was I was doing, that I was trying to do, before doing all this really difficult DLC stuff, um, was not any of these. It's gone. Wait, which one was it? This one. It was also a DLC one too, but I need to find this. Doesn't really say when I hover over this. Beyond the barricade. Yeah, that one over there. That I was already at. Somehow I didn't get that. And I was already there. Not sure how that would even happened. Talking to me to try and troll, by the way. First slab Monday. I was watching you on the... Uh, Rebel stream yesterday. Some of the stuff you said persuaded you to try it. Yeah, did it? That's funny. I wasn't really trying to persuade anyone to try it, but that's cool. I wasn't really what my goal was. Like, I've got no stake in Trovo. <laughs> you know, it's just... That's cool, though. But yeah, I think it's neat. I think it's definitely worth it. It's definitely worth the attention. Um, as far as games like you and I play, there's not a lot of that here. Which is, you know, a double-edged sword, meaning uh, you'll be one of the few people that actually has the content. So people, as people try out the site, there's a chance they'll find you. Collectible picked up. What? Codename Minkin. That's weird. Oh, because I'm in this region, I think. That's why. And then the other double-edged, the other side of the sword, of course, is that, like, there's nobody here really looking for that because they don't find it. So... Son of a bitch. Something saw me here.
Why is this thing flying so erratically? This is the one that I think saw me, right? Yeah, this is the one I think you're here. Oh, he's a military one, too. That guy saw me. He's coming for me. Facebook and how you compete with everything that comes into reaching out and getting noticed. I was like, damn, he's right. Oh, yeah, there's way more I wanted to say, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to like, I wasn't going to say anything unless they really wanted me to. God damn. They know that like, oh my God, he spawns in freaking hunters. Well, that royally screws me uh i'm gonna try to get out of here if i can yeah like facebook knows that they need to do a lot of work with their um like variety streamers of course i think i'm gonna like abandon i'm not gonna bother to revive myself because like i'm really wedged in a really tough spot here for no reason yeah let's spawn here um they like they they contradict a lot of things that like drives me nuts and they basically they want to kind of wedge people into a certain streaming thing like or streaming pattern which i don't agree with either um so really what i mean is like if you're not streaming the way that they are gearing the system for success then you're not going to find success yeah, I'm not going to try fighting that guy. I didn't know he was going to spawn in hunters, too. That's too much. I'm not going to bother with that. That's way too much to fight at once. Meaning, like, if you don't stream, like, two to three hours, you know, then the, you're, like, you stream any more than that, you're wasting your time, basically. You know? Can you stream on OnlyFans? No. They don't have any streaming service. You can only upload shit. Uh, and then, like, as far as I know, unless I've changed it, that's a joke? Oh, I mean, it's a legitimate thing. Like, people think OnlyFans is porn, but it's not. <laughs> like, that's... It wasn't even designed for that. That just happens to be one of the things you'd use it for. Uh, but yeah, I actually like... I like that people are using OnlyFans and supporting themselves with it. I think it's fantastic. I think it's an awesome service. More power to them. But then again, like, I support sex workers, so, you know, that's a risky thing, even though it's one of the oldest professions in the world. But, um, yeah, like it's, uh, they, they want you basically streaming one game at the same time every day for two to three hours to see success. And it needs to be a game that's popular. Those are all the things that they basically want to see to set you up for success. And if you're not doing those things, then it doesn't fit what they're, what they're working towards. And then it just works against you. See one game every day, yeah. Either I feel like it's either and I feel they support that more than variety. I'm not sure you mean. And I feel they support that more. I think either there's a period in there for no reason, right? Is that what you mean? Never been to OnlyFans? No, you should go to one. It's not like you could see anything, you have to subscribe. You just see whatever preview they put up. Find the schematic. Oh, yeah. They did mention the schematic. Right. I'm surprised I didn't get that before. Maybe it won't spawn unless you're here. Weird. Oh, he's running. He's all irritated and shit. Pay attention to me. Damn it. But yeah, they like, that's the thing, like they acknowledge that it's a problem though. It's not like they're ignoring the problem or anything. I don't, that's the thing. It's like people think it's like, oh, that means that everything's bad. And Facebook's not trying to fix it or not doing anything. They are, they are totally aware of these situations and they are kind of at like the mercy of this system they've created. I'm trying to reconcile all this old data, you know, of like all the shit over the years. Remember like back when like 
you know, you could just be like, I'm a fan of Call of Duty, and you'd be like, you know, you like Call of Duty. Man, that's a erratic pattern. So it would show that you liked Call of Duty, and it would show you Call of Duty content. All right, that old system is not what they're using now to, like, show you content today, but it kind of is, and it kind of isn't. So it's like this really weird mix of like what Facebook used to be, what it was, what they, you know, what they want it to be. It's a huge mess to try to fix it all. And like as a variety thing, they don't have genres. They don't have tags. You can't be like, if this guy likes RPGs, let's show him RPGs. They don't have that tech yet. They have that on Twitch, actually. Like if you follow stuff with tags, right, that have like RPG, open world, whatever, and the Twitch tags, then Twitch will be like, hey, we think you might like these streams too. YouTube also has the same problem as Facebook that they don't have that. Jeez. These guys are huge hassle. Oh shit, he just spawned right in front of me. What the hell? Yeah, and I think like, I think there's certain things with Facebook that'll just never, they'll never get caught up with. And it's just because of the nature of Facebook. Like the platform would have to undergo like huge changes to be, you know, successful in some of those areas. Like it'll always kind of be its own thing. It'll never be like completely on par with other people and other platforms in a lot of ways. It just won't. The big, the big thing for me that like, the two big things were watching successful Facebook streamers, like what they would deem successful as far as like numbers. And I don't agree with the numbers because the industry doesn't agree with the numbers. So I'm like, well, if I had 300,000 followers, then I would have maybe 300 viewers, maybe. I'm like, ooh, I'm like that's not that good. You know, <laughs> like if that's what success is, they're like, ooh, I don't know about that. But re in reality, most times it's like 300,000 followers, you get 100 viewers kind of thing. It's like, that's kind of crazy. Um, I've watched them migrate people over from, from Twitch, only to see them completely lose everything they've worked for. That really bothered me. Once I seen that more than three times, I was like, okay, so this is a problem. This is a Facebook problem. Um, and it's disappointing. Like, I get that they're paying these people to come over from Twitch and stuff, but... Like, sure, cool, I guess, but it still sucks to, like, lose all your following that you, you know, accumulated and grown over all the years. That really sucks. Um, and it's happened to a couple friends of mine. And I'm like, I can't see this over and over again. This is ridiculous. It's weird. So now it's actually highlighting all of this like material to craft. And the other thing was the big, the big last one was they won't open their numbers to anybody else. Um, that's a huge problem. And they, they don't seem to have any plan to sort that out, to figure that out, to fix that. Well, that's the thing, and, like, they definitely get, like, some preferential treatment, and I don't, like, have a problem with them getting that treatment. They should. They should keep those people happy if they want them to do that. They attribute a lot to their numbers every month. That if, like, those big guys like Darkness and Stone were to drop off all of a sudden, everybody would be like, oh, Facebook's in trouble, you know? See that map? Dude, I barely moved. It's been very tough. I'm stuck on a DLC mission I need help with, for sure definitely need help you have to like defend this base from an onslaught of enemies it's very tough but yeah like when they when facebook says we get this many you know watch hours per month you know look how close we are to like you know youtube's hours and stuff it's all with a grain of salt because no one can verify that no one can verify the number is real or how they generate the number is real because there is no access to any of their data 
So as far as I'm concerned, it's like not accurate. I'm not saying it's like 100% false, but it definitely ain't 100% true either. Wanna know why? Cause you can't verify it. Cause it's not even just a matter of like watch hours are all equal, cause they're not. How you got those watch hours is different. They all vary. There is something around here. Definitely get to get it, get down next Sunday. Yeah, man, I made a lot of progress. There's something like right here. See, he's like around here somewhere, and I can't spot him. But yeah, not opening up their API not only, exp you know, says that like basically, well, we can't really verify or trust any Facebook numbers, but it also means if you're not working with Facebook as like a company then you won't be working with Facebook anytime soon because you can't access their numbers. How do I run a sponsorship if I can't see it? You know, they want it to go through their system. That's what they really want. Oh, I got a little fall resistance. I don't know what they want me to make though. Craft a blast resistant jacket, but I already got a blast resistant jacket. Gonna make another one? View schematics. Yeah, I've already got one of these. No, I don't want to equip it. Extra blast resistant jackets. Oh, take them back to the ring fort. I see. Oh, okay. How are watch hours typically accumulated? Uh, they're typically, you know, if you're in there watching the stream, right? Every minute you do that, you're basically adding minutes to it. So if you're sitting there watching for minutes on end, you know, that's how it goes. So if you watch for 60 minutes, it's one hour watched. You know, 10 people watching for 60 minutes, right? That's 10 hours watched. Uh, this thing here. No, wait, this is a recycling station. This is not this station. That's what I need. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, hello, Mo. What's up, man? This game has so much in it. Dude, it just keeps getting bigger. Like, now that we bought the DLC, there is so much. It's going to take a while to get through. It's actually more dense too, and there's people now too in the DLC. Check this out. Look at, there's actually people you can talk to. Actual NPCs now. I just thought there were more ways than that. No, yeah, it just depends on like how, like where are those hours attributing, you know, like if anybody's able to bot it and so on and and such like that. Like there's a lot of questionable things that can happen around watched hours. Find the farm of Ostramark and go to that village. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see where these were. Okay, that's the one bunker there that I got the code for. Beyond the barricades, that one. Is the other one, the other one's way up here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's another bunker over there. Okay, so I think I should work towards this bunker. I'm gonna go this way though. I was watching the last four hours, but work like by lurking. Yeah, it's all good, man. Come here, bud. Now you can write a little bit. Dope. Yeah, man. Um, the weapons are pretty sick that they gave us. Trend's pretty good. And uh, you know, I'm just trying to like level up. I'm trying to get to like my movement, noise, and visibility, so I can hide from these guys a little better. But yeah. Uh, we definitely should be, I think we can all spec into everything, except for, of course, you can only choose, like, one specialization, but, um, I was gonna say, getting into marking enemies was really important, and then, uh, you can get more XP from killing marked enemies. So, like, if we all had at least this, and someone was marking, it'd be really good. Yeah, I haven't bothered to get anything for survivability, and I'm really feeling it. But yeah, it's going to be tough. You got any tips for me for starting on Trovo? 
Deactivate your notification when people join chat. Yeah, the welcome notification. I turned that off. Um, I'm a total trovo noob, though, man. Mole here knows a lot more than I do. Uh, use my referral code, Jester, since you're joining because of me. I'll send you my referral code thing. Because that helps me. <laughs> since, since you just straight up just told me you're trying it because of me. Oh, yeah, you're going to use my referral code, Brett. <laughs> Yeah, it's like classic, right? More like calling people out. Yeah, I want that money. I think I get money. I don't know how much money. You have to level up or something. But I don't really know how all of it works. I just know that like the referral code isn't enough on its own. You got to like use the platform and level up to like make stuff happen. That'd be too easy if you just signed up and nothing happened. It requires some definite commitment. Oh my god, it's like a whole squad of hunters over there. Military hunters, too. Everything is so difficult, man, this game. It's crazy. It's gonna do Sunday when we play Gen Zero. Word. Every level yields you 25 bucks. Oh, that's sick. Alright, cool. There you go. Uh, do I have you on Discord? I think I do, Jester, right? I think I got you on Discord. I'll grab uh, I'll grab the code for you. But yeah, I'd say like maybe link all your shit before um, before you start doing it. You know, like before you start streaming, put all your like links in there and and all that jazz. You know, um, I'm gonna grab your referral code here. Uh, and let me see. There you are. And I just send, I'll send it to you here. There yeah. yeah. we go. Two different keyboards. Okay, let those guys pass anyway, because I'm not going to be fighting four military freaking hunters right now if I don't have to. Is there a side quest like right here? No. Okay, never mind. Well, now you know. There you go. The referral codes you give to people when they level up, you get 25 bucks. Pretty cute. Cool. Like, I'm hearing something, so I'm making sure I'm not about to get jumped. Master plans all coming together, man. Yep. Hey, you love. It's Johan. I just got back to Carlsberg now. I'm scheduled to leave for a couple of days. But I just missed the kids' bedtime. Again, as Matilda would say. Look, I need to tell you something weird that happened today. Did you see the news? We should... You know what? I'll just come down. I could use a night camp. I'll be down in five. Seeds of doubt. Go to Major John Anderson's house. Oh, I was uh, gonna head over that way anyway, so that's cool. Yeah, let's, let's place that waypoint over there. <laughs> you are everywhere. Hmm. Here's something over here. 
Oh, oh. Yeah, there's a dog right there. Probably not the only one, though. I'm hearing footsteps, but he's not moving. Oh, yeah, there's a hunter right there. Another hunter there. It's terrifying. Pretty, uh, they're pretty much on guard that that like roadblock. It's kind of rough. I might kill him just because I want to, but I can lure them back to this barn over here. I think that'll work out pretty good if I do that. And there's also a bunch of extra guys out there, too. They might all come running. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Let's do this shit. I think that's a separate patrol. So I'm not going to worry about that guy. But... Dang small. Dang train. Yo, can I get him through this? So can he though. Up there somewhere. Hey, I got another bunker code off these guys. What the heck? That's like not even like rendered properly. That's weird. Strange. There was a runner over here, too. Where the hell did he go? Maybe he was with that patrol I saw go that way. Yeah, I don't know where he went, but he was here. He was standing, like, right here. I don't know. Oh, there's still more guys here, though. Look at oh, those are military ones, too. Yep, well, they're already aware of me. That's how freaking good they are. They will spot me that fast, man. So, you think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like close this? Jesus. He's moving on this, like, this thing. <laughs> He's changing the height of my aiming every time. Jesus. 
Okay, they're sending in those little guys. No big deal there. They're just annoying. Take a pounding, man. These guys are durable. What the heck? Usually they take like one bullet and they're dead. Wish I had some grenades or something. Jesus, that explosion is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. I can't wait till I get some better quality weapons, man. Your ammo goes so much further. That's what she said. Hey, you right. Somebody out here. There he is. He jumped up on the roof. They do that over and over again. I don't know how they keep doing that shit. And then escapes combat because he's busted. He's like glitched. That's so dumb. Wait, where'd he go? I'm not even sure. I'm, I'm something's glitching. I don't know what's going on. I'm seeing like flickering things on the ground. Those bodies are moving. That guy should be around here somewhere. Even if he died. I have no idea. I can't wait to get a better gun. Oh, got another one out there. Jeez. Yeah, I don't know where that guy went. That's really strange. Like, they do that, they do that leap. It just sucks because it gave me, it didn't give me the full XP. It says I escaped combat even though like I killed all those guys. I didn't get credit for all of them. It just says, oh, you escaped. And it's like not calculating all my credit properly, which sucks. Like, man, that's cheap. Because he glitched out. Do I have a... Uh... I have any more ammo for this? I don't. Oh god. Alright, well I can assign this old rickety shotgun. I love how it's like bent too. Like if you look at the the gun, <laughs> like the barrel of the gun is actually bent. It's such a low quality weapon. It's perfect. All right, well, I wasn't planning on clearing out whatever the hell this roadblock thing is, but since I did, basically, I think, uh, I'm going to go check it out, see what it is. I don't know what all these barricades are. I don't think I've ever seen these 
like pretty much from here on out like this is kind of unexplored territory for me for the most part um i've been over here but i've never been anywhere past like this coast here uh and then i've been up to this airport over here and that's it that's about as far as i've been frontline outpost Oh. What does that mean? It's got an icon on the map. Does it mean I can do something here? Or is it just like a map marker? Okay, so there was like doors here. Hmm, I don't know, man. That's weird. We'll go check out that dude's house. Wait, what? Is collectible somewhere around here? I don't know where. This is a this is a place. Mm, I think it's mistaken. Maybe they mean this area, and I just happen to walk near it. I don't know, it's weird. I didn't know the bunker was going to be right here. I was kind of waiting to come here until after this other side mission, but. I guess his house is right next to it. Oh, never mind then, I guess. I guess I'll just do whatever. to punch in a code, right? No, I don't. something walking around yeah shame Yeah, that thing actually focuses the shots pretty good. Even though it's not really supposed to reduce the spread as the silencer, it does actually work really well. Do exactly that. Ticks. Probably down below. Yeah.
It's like mild anxiety inducing hearing everything churn and chatter and so many different robots and stuff. Shot his armor off. I didn't even know I could do that. He had a little armor plate on that one because he was a higher level one, I guess. And I shot that plate off, and then I could expose him. That was kind of neat. Oh shit! I guess see what's up. Yeah. Assault rifle barrel extension. I need to see what that's like. Barrel extension velocity increase. Can I use that on this thing though? Cause this thing's already got a silencer. No, I guess I can't. Okay. It's kind of low quality anyway, but. I guess it just, I think it just increases the damage. I don't understand how velocity increases with a longer barrel. I don't understand that logic, but wouldn't the bullet have to travel further? Okay. I missed the thing back here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. No power, but then I just turn the power on. Okay. I think I have to go back downstairs. I think I'm missing something. There's like a hand down there. Yeah, there was a step two to it. Oh, I didn't see that. saying to go back up there for sure. else another side mission Target to kill in here, it says. What the heck? It's in that cargo hole? Like, what? stuck in that cargo container over there, that shipping container. I don't want to like disrupt them just yet until I'm sure that I got everything else around here. Yeah, the robots in this are terrifying, man. They're so 
They did such a good job with making them absolutely ridiculous. Like, that's how I feel about this game. I would say it's survival horror. Especially when you play on a harder difficulty. Like, the hardest difficulty is really tough. Everything kills you really quickly. It's an open world survival horror. That's what it is to me. I was saying earlier, I'm like, it's kind of what, like, I wish they had something like this with zombies, but that's kind of like what Day Before is sort of like, I guess. But, like, just a co op game like this with zombies instead of robots would be so fantastic. Same game engine, same everything else, just a different environment with zombies. It'd be so great. That would be a good zombie survival game. All right. Okay. <laughs> Actually didn't hurt that bad. Made of zero, but didn't catch you enough. Yeah, it's definitely not for everybody. Like this is uh it really surprised me how much I actually liked it. Because I didn't really think I would. And I was like, oh, okay, never mind. Yeah, this is definitely what I want. But only because of that, like, survival horror aspect of it, you know? Like, it's so much tension, and it's so tough. It's such a tough game. Very immersive. Nice. All right. Everything's here. Okay. Um, let's see what I can recycle, if anything. I don't think I've got anything to recycle right now. Nope. Let's throw this in here, throw this in here, uh, throw this in here, and that, and that. So now I know that, like, what I gotta do with those other fights, like, later on. Like when we go to do those missions, I'll just like rig everything up. Thoroughly. When all that shit comes at me, it'll be dope. Alright, we get another warboard update. Oh, that's Veronica. Neat. That's cool. It's Veronica. Like, who we met, actually. Like, the NPC, which is neat. Okay, so... need to get out of this bunker. I'm trying to think of the other ways out of this bunker. Right, so I went in there. Went in there. Went down there. This way I didn't go yet. It's cool that I got that safe house unlocked though. Yeah, there they are. Those are the guys I've been hearing the whole time. Oh, shit. I'm hearing these guys clunking around outside. Let's go, bro.
antagonize them to get over here. I want all of them to come over here. It's not coming at me. Another guy. Jesus. That gun just sticking right in the door. Those weak points on his arms. I'm hitting them. Yeah, he's running. With that gas. Oh, oh, wait, is he coming back? Two of them out there. Telling time technology? Does a watch new gear upgrade? Uh cosmetic. Yeah, it's new, but it's just a cosmetic. Do anything. Just for funsies. Shotguns are pretty nice, actually, to take out a bunch of different weak spots. He tried to stab me, but he missed. I don't know where the rest of them are. If they are around. There's still got to be one of them around here somewhere. I thought I heard that come from over there. Yeah, there it is. Like, I'm pretty sure he was over this way. There he is. through these frickin' bushes. Shit, there's something else out here too. Where'd he go? 
And now right as man did the update, had lost some progress, redid what I had, got to the point, game crashed again, now at writer's servers fail. Yeah, that game's uh pretty dead. I think they're I think they're pretty screwed on it, man. Like I'm still gonna play it and try to get everybody to 30 because I just wanted to. You know, I still enjoy it for what how broken it is, but man. I've never seen a developer kill a game so fast. Like, hey, let's squander all this potential. Sounds like a plan, bro. Let's do it. Where is that guy? Okay, here is shit over here somewhere. Whoa, that's something else. What's that? Man. That guy's weak point like three times now. It's a generator? Oh, interesting. I don't know where that hunter went. It sucks because I'm not going to get any XP again for that fight because that hunter is like gone somewhere and it's just going to be like, oh, look at that, you escaped combat. a lot of ticks dude pre referral code in I got full unreleased battlefield 6 game oh that's dope but they give you that and they give me shit they gave me one month EA play access <laughs> Weird. I don't know why there's so many ticks here. This is strange. Oh. I don't know what's going on with all these ticks. This is very weird. get a better scope yet uh it's a shotgun can't put a scope on this i think you might be able to put like different sights like an iron sight of some kind okay what is the significance of this They said I got it just for knowing you. That's wild. Because they told me I would be the first to get Super Soldier Serum. They are on the verge of being finished with. Yo, Trovo's out here just doing all of the best shit. I don't know what this is. Does this, like, report me or something? Is it bad? Nah, I think this is an automated light. All right. I was like, it looks like it would be something really bad, right? By looking at it. I'm still in combat, by the way. Because of that damn hunter, wherever the hell it is. Is that him up there? It's him up there. Just seen him. Yo. Where the heck are you? Oh my god, this guy. Yeah, you just I just heard him. Is he 
still in the freaking game somewhere. I can fight him. Is he running? Oh, maybe you can go down like that, like, incline or whatever right there. Slugs? These might do okay, I don't know. Never use a slug against these guys. Oh, they're too precise. Way too precise. It sucks. Yeah, slugs are shit. Can't be using slugs. Fight is shit because I can't get this guy to go anywhere. I've been fighting this guy for like an hour or so, like it feels like it's ridiculous. Where is he? No lights. Can't see his lights. He's right there somewhere. Can't see him. Sees me, I'm dead like right away. He can see me though, totally fine, that's why. He can see me through all the bushes and shit, and I can't see him. Shotguns don't seem to have too much spread. You can hit them far. No, they have a lot of spread. I also have a choke on it, too, to reduce the spread. But yeah, they have a lot of spread. I think a lot of games just, like, really model shotguns terribly. They like me basically make it seem like it's like as soon as it leaves the barrel it's got this like trajectory the size of like a door you know and that's like totally not at all what shotgun's like <laughs> it's not even close uh not really into animes truly no not really into like television or movies in general um because I don't really like stick to watching anything. Like I watch it only usually because like Lindsay's watching something or she wants me to watch something or whatever. Yeah, some stuff I'm like excited to see, but more often than not, I don't follow anything too closely. The only place I can see him is right here because he will not move. God damn it. Oh, I don't want to revive, but if I don't, then the combat ends anyway, which it's about to end. Oh, this is so frustrating. Can this guy freaking move, man? I'm so sick of these heals, too. They're so shit. I've been using them for so long. They're the worst heals. Okay, that one's dead. Can I just get my XP? I think it's completely broken. I I think there's just nothing I can do to get my XP back. I think it just is what it is. There's somebody right here though. Like he's stuck in the bunker somewhere. Yeah. I only use my adrenaline shots just so I could continue the fight so I could get my XP, but I have a feeling it's broken and it won't calculate it right. Oh, that pisses me off so much because it takes so long to fight all that shit. Just for it to come back and be like, eh, escape combat 80. And it's like, okay, there should have been like a thousand XP. Where is this guy? He's like right, I can hear him. I hear it? He's like right here. I don't know, man. Maybe I gotta go, like, down another level over here. But if I don't kill him, it'll just go, escape combat. Nah. <laughs> That's all it'll do. 
But yeah, man, I just mostly play video games. Like, if I was single, I probably wouldn't even bother to own a TV. <laughs> like, they wouldn't even bother. But what am I gonna do with it? I'm not gonna play games on it, so I wouldn't even bother. Yeah, it's he's wedged somewhere. I'm gonna have to just eat it, unfortunately. I shouldn't have even wasted those adrenaline shots. I didn't know that I was still stuck in combat from this. Has mana working this? Been watching for way more than five minutes. Still haven't gotten twenty yet. I don't know. Good question. How does mana work? What the hell? Jeez. I'm sure you get more mana if you, like, chat um, and do other things, but I don't know. Legit don't know how mana works. Do they have mana in... in Harry Potter? Shit. He's just shooting his friend, too. You got quite a bit from today? Yeah, I don't know. I I don't know how you get it. I'm guessing just by watching and stuff, right? probably just do they probably do it's just on their HUD we can't see it oh yeah yeah and Harry Potter that would make sense yeah oh shit what did I just get I just got something dope oh a submachine gun never mind I thought it was a mach like a automatic rifle one or something because that would have been sick You gotta collect it in the cast spell menu. Okay, it gave me decent XP for escaping, at least. Probably not as much as it should have been, though. It's still bugged, though. Oh, shit, what? I don't know what that is. It's a different gun. Oh, it's a shotgun. I see. Yo, how is that compared to this one, though? Probably about the same. He's got a lot of, a lot of radios and stuff headed to nearby ruins. Oh. Okay, that's not what I was gonna expect. But I guess that's where he went or where he sent somebody. I didn't bother to read the note. <laughs> I don't know where he's gonna go. Hell yeah, level gained, baby. That's what I'm talking about. I don't think you're supposed to have a radio next to the bathtub like that. I think that's unsafe, bro. <sighs> okay, movement noise. Or... Hmm... Yeah, I'm gonna do reduce visibility, so I don't get caught as easily. Plus, it helps me get the drop on them better. Another harvester out there. 
whole bunch of hunters. God damn, man. All right, I'm going to head over to the bunker. I think that's a good place to stop right there. And I also didn't clear this all out yet, so I want to go check this real quick. But I was getting antsy about that. I was like, I want to know what's going to happen over at that house, but it just leads me to another place. I like the way the skills are in this game, though. Like, you want everything. They're all so good. Looking around, I don't see nothing else, man. Like, there's still something on my radar that's, like, detected me. I don't know where he is. I think he's just hidden in a wall somewhere or something. I just use elixirs. Yay, I'll give you man. Is that not how it works? I think so. Yo, thanks, man. Appreciate it, dude. Yeah, I think that's how it works. Uh... You'd probably get more for it. Maybe you just got to refresh. Maybe it's just not updating like your screen or something or whatever. Are you on web or like on a mobile app? And check one other spot here. See, I haven't even been in here yet. It's like one other room that I didn't go to. I'm like, what other rooms am I missing then? Maybe the guy I need to kill is in one of them other rooms. I don't see any way out of this, though. On mobile, huh? Okay. I haven't really spent too much time with the mobile app. To, like, notice how mana's doing that, like, accumulation there. I can hear him. It's like so clear right here. It's weird, man. Look at all the different stuff. Oh my god, so much. <sighs> All right, so main mission-wise, I've got... I don't know what these generators are. See, they have, like, these new, like, FNIX outpost, FNIX power generator. But now I've got to go to that city. I've got to go way the hell over here for some other mission. I don't know what this is. Spiking the guns. Uh, and then i got to go defend that one. That's part of the FNIX expansion. Secret cargo? No idea. This one I just got. This one I gotta go way down here. Oh shit, gifting two subs. Hey. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, dude. Thank you very much, man. Oh man, then I've got another one over here. What's this one? Not alone. Oh, that's part of the like, the I don't know, the ice ice thing? I guess. I don't know what it is. Oh, man. Yeah, but I appreciate it, Ghoulie. Yo, know, thank you very much, man. I gotta get going, though, dude. Oh, I'm so tired. I just waited too long to get that caffeine in me, dude. Yeah, that's just for getting the Super Soldier Serum. Battlefield 6 early. Yeah, that makes sense, man. That makes sense. I think that's right. It makes sense to me. Oh shit, I see. There's like DLC ones over here and stuff. Wait, I've already got... Complete a side mission. Complete two more side missions. Oh, Tidal Wave is the main one. Outpost. Use a melee weapon to eliminate 20 runners. Melee weapon to stand, stun 10 hunters. Are you kidding me? Destroy five tanks with a melee weapon? How crazy is this game? Use a melee weapon to destroy 100 ticks during their jump attacks. That one's really tough. Stealthy resistance camo hat. 
Dude, you're supposed to destroy five tanks with melee weapons. Like, how tanky do you get in this game to be able to do that? Because that's kind of ridiculous. There's just no way. There's just no way. Hey, thanks, Jeremy. Appreciate it, man. Skillful beta hound, it says here. Veteran beta hound. Skillful predator. What the heck? Aw, oh, Rose. Aw, oh, thanks, Yuli. <laughs> David and Goliath situation? Yeah, melee versus tank. Yeah, that's those huge walking, like, things on two feet things or whatever. Oh, shit, look at this. Beacon of Hope. That's a cool title. Activate three more warboards for this. Okay. We're getting there. Man, that's a lot of stuff, though, dude. That is a lot of stuff. There's so much to this game. I'd have to guess, like, 100 hours. If I was just throwing a number out there right now, I think it's, like, a 100-hour game. You're top of the leaderboard now. Oh, look at that. You are, too. Dope. Congrats, man. I appreciate the gift subs and the rose and the hype and all the things. All the elixir things, man. I'm going to get going, though, guys. <sighs> Cause I need to. Yeah, I got to. I got to do that. Um, I will be on Twitch tomorrow, uh, the usual time. One of these days, I'm gonna have to like uh, take a shorter day, like maybe Wednesday. Uh, I might be on late or something, cause I got to do some photos and stuff when the sun's up. But yeah, guys, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. See y'all later. I would raid someone, but it's not unlocked yet um, on my channel, so I can't raid anybody. But uh, the auto host should go off and host somebody. I'll add you on there too, uh, Ghoulie. By the way, I'm going to follow you now too. But I'll add you on my auto host. Yeah, have a good day, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Bye, y'all.